Hello. I'm to whom this may concern. I know. I should have been here before. A little bit late. But that's okay. Um, just had to get everything sorted. A little tricky. I also had to get my, um, my Halloween-themed outfit for tonight, which is... pink. <laughs> I decided that the, um, the Barbie look is now also the Halloween look. Because why not? Um, wait till you see my Halloween-themed headphones. Specifically for tonight. <laughs> Hi, Tenor. Pinkachu. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. Speaking of pink. Princesses. Yep. Good, good, good. What do you think about my Halloween headphones, Tenor? Aren't they beautiful? I think I'm... I think I'm... Connecting with the spirit of Halloween. I mean, all the ladies get to dress as cats. Why not us? Hmm? Why not? So, because it's Halloween, of course, we're going to try something horror, but also kind of funky and different. So, I don't know. Not my bag, usually. This type of asymmetrical multiplayer stuff, but I'm willing to give it a shot. Texas Chainsaw. Masikre. Game based on true events. Uh, what? Okay, I don't think that's true. By true events, do they mean the fact that someone in real life made a movie? Hmm. It's a bit sus. Anyway. I'm ready. Am I? Kinda. Do people like this? Was this something that was actually successful? Because I know everyone likes uh, Dead by Daylight, but I don't know about all the Pretender games, like Evil Dead and uh, Friday the 13th and stuff. Take on the role of one of the notorious Slaughter family. Oh, the whole family, not just the dude with the chainsaw. Neat. Third person asymmetrical horror based on the groundbreaking iconic 1974 horror film, Blah Diddy Blue. Be the killer or the, w or the victim. They shouldn't say victim, they should say survivor. Because you might not be a victim if you win. I love it how... Check out, check out the how long to beat averages. Main story, one hour. Completionist, 50 hours. What? Alright. Kicked for high ping, four stars. I'm Australian and I get kicked for having high ping too often. So annoying. Other than that, the game's pretty fun. Wow. Australians get booted out of games. For not having as good internet as the rest of the world. That sucks. Sissy's lingerie skin or I riot. I agree with Big Red. Um, that's movie accurate. So there's nothing wrong with that. Myth. Five stars. Grandpa loves me the most. That's creepy. I demand new maps. How well, Given how well this made this game is, new maps are advised. <laughs> advised, he says. Like, this man has any power. How many maps are there? Doesn't say. Flipping amazing. Five stars. Add more finishes. The game's great. Wish there were more finishes and executions, like the Friday the 13th game. I live in Australia and got kicked from ping once. <laughs> oh my god, it's another Australian getting kicked out of games for ping. I don't like the... I don't like where this is going. And then he just keeps going on to complain about performance mode and 30 frames per second. Five stars, get it. Don't let the crybaby negative reviews turn you off. It's actually fun. This is the kind of game that has like a small amount of niche obsessed players that act like this. And then everyone else is like, meh. And they act like everyone else is crazy. One star, get kicked out of most games. Very fun when you get to play, but you get kicked for ping being too high. I found another Australian. That's three. Mystical Tato. No keybinds. Ridiculous. Tried with a controller. Doesn't feel right. Well, I'm going to do it on the Xbox, so we are doing controller. Good game. Just countering the one-star reviews from the simpletons. I don't know, man. It's kind of a simpleton genre. I don't know how I feel you on that one. 
Five stars, awesome. Lots of fun with friends. Playing from Australia without issue. One star reviews are from people that can't afford real PCs and run potatoes. P the ping doesn't have anything to do with your PC, though. That's your internet connection. Um, devs' actions speak louder than words. Less bug fixing, more paid skins. Anything else is devs downright lazy. One star. China do this. Oh, why China do this? <laughs> Joe Woodpecker. Really fun if you're a fan of Texas Chainsaws. Um, I can't say I really am that much, but it's all right. One star. Unbelievably killer-sided. Started off good, then gave the victims every unfair disadvantage they could think of. Isn't that kind of the point of horror? Like, Jason and shit is meant to be way more dangerous and powerful than the teenagers. Uh, you know, if you're talking about Friday the 13th, just as, as an example. Only play if you want to play alone. Still can't start a party with friends, constantly fails to connect. I guess probably another Australian. When chasing, there's no point on the thrust feature, all caps. I don't know what that means, but that guy really believes in what he just said. Should be balanced. Uh, I don't know about that. I mean... It's like the xenomorph in Alien Isolation versus a regular human. Like, the regular human should be useless for it to be realistic. Love it. So fun. Five stars. Decent game. Don't think the devs plan on balancing the game. Uh, I think this guy... Uh, I think this guy agrees with you there, Tenor. Balance. He only gave it three. Good game. Looks good. Voice acting good. Gore level sufficient. Execution's cool. Blah, blah, blah. Some issues of disconnections. Another Australian. <laughs> I keep finding Australians. Very cool. Nice. Good game. Fun to play as victim or family. So these reviews are all over the place. Like, this doesn't help at all if you were planning to use these to decide if you want to play the game or not. <laughs> Ten regular humans should be able to do something against a Xeno? Oh, I don't know about that. That thing is a switch... Blade army knife filled with acid versus bloody meat sacks <sighs> with fleshy, fleshy hands. You're all going to get decimated. They should make an alien isolation multiplayer game like this where one person's a Xeno and the others are all humans. And then let as many humans join as you want. 100 humans, still Xeno. I still, my money's still on the Xeno. The Saw is family. Five stars. From day one, the game is awesome. Game makes it so much more interesting and difficult with three players hunting victims as opposed to just one, like Friday the 13th, Dead by Daylight, and Evil Dead. So this does actually have the entire family of killers, not just the one chainsaw dude. Ping too high. Just another game that doesn't care for people in less populated regions. Hello, Australian. Captain Squirtle. Unplayable for Australians and New Zealanders. Tenno, we're not about we're about to have a bad time. Just saying. Online game, not a clue about what I'm supposed to be doing. Das Tiger doesn't know how to play. Well, this is gonna be miserable. Let's do it. Or let's see what Steam says, because they're a lot funnier usually. Yeah, there you go. First review. They should make a skin where Bubba is naked and covered in oil. <laughs> it's movie accurate. I agree. Piece of shit game keeps crashing. Some uh, bad reviews. Connie has a big bum. 10 out of 10 game. Nice. Looking forward to Connie's big bum. We need a cosmetic where Cook is naked and oiled up. Wow, that's the second person that said that. Steam is, um, Steam players are a little horny. Bunch of Coomers. Fun game to play if you genuinely hate yourself. <laughs> Lag. Meh. Well done. Fun and engaging. Masterpiece horror adaption. Alright, I'm scared. Not scared of the horror, scared of the ping. I don't know if we're going to be able to play this, man. This could go horribly wrong, but let's see. I'm going to uh, pull the plug.
Maybe better Toho. Is there a Toho asymmetrical multiplayer game? Where one killer goes after four survivors? Okay. Let's get on the Halloween headphones. Kind of awkward, but you know, whatever. They look good. Clean title screen. Ah, they make you scroll the whole fine print. Great. I'm going to just pretend I read all that. That sounds good. That seems fine. A gun interactive in Sumo Nottingham game. In association with Vortex Inc. and Exervia Films and Sean Kichu. Powered by Unreal Engine. This will be the shortest stream? Maybe. 1973. Tragedy and despair have struck Central Texas. A young college student named Maria Flores has seemingly vanished without a trace. She it's very was quiet. seen near the town of Newt more than two weeks ago. But with no physical evidence, the investigation has stalled. With few leads and even less hope, Maria's younger sister, Ana Flores, and a group of her closest friends set out to find their missing loved one. But any grief or sadness caused by Maria's disappearance would pale in comparison to the agony and despair. I love the 70s VHS discovered. crawl. What so awaited nice. this group of youths was a nightmare beyond belief. The events surrounding Maria's disappearance would be just one of the many bizarre crimes later known as the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I keep seeing them spell chainsaw as two words, chainsaw. I thought it was one word. I've been spelling it as one word my entire life. Remember your strengths, abilities, and be a team player. No. I refuse. Well, Texas Chainsaw Massacre seems to spell it two words. Both in-game and in the marketing and in all the text, like... So, I don't know. It's a bit random. I thought it was one word. Boom. Oh my god. New Nicotero Leatherface. What does Nicotero mean? Is that the actor? Progression? Oh, look at all that. That's a bunch of stuff I'm not going to care about. Sweet. Unlockables? Looks like film clips. Alright. Performance. Resolution. We like graphics. All right. Seems fine. Wait. Let's say exit without saving. Hang on. Resolution. Headphones. Apply. There we go. Tutorials. Well, I guess I better do it, otherwise I won't know what the fuck I'm doing. Part of the family now. It's up to you to secure the property and stop victims from escaping. I don't remember the movie well enough to remember who all the family members are. Keep all doors locked and 
and make sure all exits are closed, trapped, or guarded. Make sure to monitor crucial pieces of equipment like generators, the fuse box, and the water valve pump. The status of these items play a huge role in whether or not victims will have an easy path to escape. Make sure to collect blood from drainage buckets scattered around the map, or by attacking victims directly. Feed this newly acquired blood to Grandpa to make him stronger and more effective. What the fuck? The stronger he is, the more powerful his sonar ability will become. Holy shit. Pretty soon he'll be finding and highlighting that is so victims weird for the whole gross. family to see. Feed Grandpa enough and he'll give the family new abilities that can be used for the rest of the match. Remember, Grandpa is the best killer that ever was. Hunt down the victims using abilities and teamwork. Look for signs of movement and listen for noise. Pay attention to your surroundings and keep your eyes and ears open. You never know where one of those victims might be hiding. Speaking of abilities, each family member has a unique ability that can help hunt and track down victims. Careful though, some abilities have limited quantities while others are on a cooldown. So hunt wisely. Once you locate or find a victim, cool. make sure you have a plan. Try to set up ambushes or catch them off guard. There's three killers. The direct approach isn't always the best. Because so it's a family of killers. Family members when possible. But once your plan unfolds and you get them within range, hit them. Then hit them again. And remember, <laughs> yeah. if you do manage to successfully hit or execute a victim, take that blood to Grandpa. He's hungry. Needs his strength in order to help. I was not expecting to oh, be feeding blood to an old man. Escape. After all, we win as a family, or we lose as a family. So the tutorials aren't actually gameplay. We just have to watch videos. That's odd. Oh, this one doesn't even have voice acting. Uh, Leatherface is brutal killer who has a chainsaw. Most ruthless family member. Start the chainsaw with RB. Yank and pull the cord using X at the right time. Once it's running, keep it revved or it may stall and quit. You can also turn the chainsaw off this allow you to sneak around quietly. So you're deadly if you can keep the chainsaw running. But it takes effort. And you're noisy if you do. It's online PvP. There's no bots to play against for tutorial. I mean, they could have made bots. Just for the sake of tutorializing. Just, like, have the sequences that you play for tutorial all scripted. Just so you can get a feel for it. This is a lot of information. Just be dropping in text. And every one of these characters plays differently. Who's Cook? Cook runs the gas station. Older member of the Slaughter family. Balding slightly. Due to his advanced age, the Cook is now responsible for keeping the family together and out of trouble. Not the quickest or strongest, but his lack of physicality is made up by his advanced hearing and intimate knowledge of the property. Can use his hearing to detect noisy victims across the map. Does not to quickly identify and mark targets for the family. He's like a walking radar. May occasionally mistake machinery or other sound as victims. But it's not 100%. Can add locks to doors and gates to secure sections of the map. Great way to reinforce exits. Can only carry three padlocks at a time. Can recover locks and move them. Oh, wow. Damn, dude. 
His strength lies in his perception, his ability to mark prey. If you can play the role effectively, your team's chance of catching victims is increased. Okay. Hitchhiker. Sadistic, erratic, unhinged, and violent, the hitchhiker is the most unpredictable. Habit of turning victims into art. <laughs> Gross. Hitchhiker roams the back roads of Texas, luring unwary travelers. He relish relishes tormenting his prey. Hitchhiker enjoys the chase with sickening glee, where he's able to maintain the pursuit longer than other family members due to his high endurance. So he's good at chasing people for long periods of time. Can place bone traps to ensnare. Holds victims in place and breaks bones. Can carry three traps, can place them almost anywhere. Option to collect and reset traps. Quick and nimble, he can use gaps and crawl spaces just like the victims can, making him extremely hard to lose in a chase. So he can follow them in places the other killers can't. His attacks are the weakest, but he more than makes up for that with the speed and accuracy. Cray. Johnny. As ruthless as he is handsome, uses his good looks to stalk and prey on those he considers weaker. Uses his good looks? You can charm people like Dracula? Closest thing to a tradi traditional serial killer. Johnny's weapon of choice is a skinning knife he received from Grandpa, both vicious and powerful. Hey, Johnny is kind of attractive. Johnny's so powerful, his attacks often leaves victims concussed. Confused and dazed for short periods after hitting them. Like most serial killers, Johnny's an expert at stalking and hunting. Activating his hunting ability, you can search the environment and quickly identify clues left behind by victims. Clues? Like what? Footprints? Oh, literally footprints. Once a clue is discovered, you can analyze it with X, revealing their path. Depending on how recent the trails were left behind, his ability can sometimes lead him directly to a cowering victim for a quick kill. Abilities can only activate for so long before cooldown is applied. Plan and coordinate with family members. Blah, blah, blah. Sissy. Definition of psychotic. Treading a fine line between reality and delusion. She's unpredictable and violent. They all are. What's so special about Sissy? Sissy got caught up in the zeitgeist of late 60s and rebelled against the family. Spent time at the Spahn Ranch in California before joining Ashram in Washington. Later commune... What the fuck? That's a lot of backstory. Just tell us how she plays. Like Johnny, Sissy enjoys the kill, reveling in violence, she uses her straight razor to unleash lightning fast attacks. Cool. Using knowledge gained from her time away from the family, she developed a mixture of deadly powders using various wildflowers. Used concoctions to weaken and disorient foes before killing them. So she's the poison character. Powder can be blown into a thick cloud. She's Sonya Blade. Sprinkled onto objects to apply disorienting effects. Anyone who mistakenly drinks or inhales the mixture will soon find escaping sissy impossible. Neat. If she runs out of powder, the Texas countryside is there to help. There's multiple mortar and pestle locations around the property. Being slight and nimble, you can squeeze through gaps and crawl, crawl spaces, as well as hide in freezers and armoires to ambush. So she's the only one that can hide. And like ambush people. If you hear her singing, you better run. Stamina. Combat. Noise and hiding. Grandpa. Exits. Securing the property. Player progression. Character loadouts. Attributes. Ability unlocked. There are so many tutorials, man. I can't handle this. <laughs> Okay, let's You've see what the, the victims have to do. Tied up, tortured, and left for dead. You must do whatever it takes to escape the family's property at all costs. Find your friends. Hunt for life-saving items like tools, bone scrap, and health. But more importantly, locate and open up escape routes before it's too late. The family is hunting, so move quietly and make the right decisions. Your life depends on it. Stay quiet and hidden. Move slowly and carefully. 
to avoid making excessive noise. Holy shit. Use shadows and tall foliage to stay hidden. He's so close Take behind that dude. Take behind tall objects to break line of sight. And last but not least, use the environment to your advantage. Wall gaps, crawl spaces, and unique hiding spots like freezers, armoires, and even vehicle trunks can be used to evade the family. Use them. He popped out, out right as that guy walked past. Make noise. Moving balls, too fast the through the environment can spell disaster. Searching for items slowly will drastically increase your chance of survival. Even moving too fast through doors can give away your location. So stay calm and move quietly. The family is always listening. Find useful items. Tools can be used to break locks on doors. Health items can heal you. While bone scrap can be used to sneak attack or even confront the family directly. These Bone items what? can mean the difference between life and death. You can only carry oh, you can two items them. at a time. So choose Just to wisely stun them and try briefly. to plan ahead. Unlock exits. The heavy metal doors almost always lead out of the basement. Find and open them. Once upstairs, keep moving if possible. How? There are multiple escape routes located on the outer edges keys? of the property. So find a way to open them. Some escape objectives, like the fuse box and water valve pump, require specific items to activate them. These items can be found scattered around the property. Be on the lookout. Escape the family. Having trouble finding an escape option? When in doubt, head towards the main road or rear gate. Those are usually the easiest option, if you can get there. The chicken is losing the its mind. The water valve gate and the basement door exits are also available options if you can find the necessary parts to activate them. The basement door requires you to find and repair the fuse box, while the this water is so valve much information needs to the pressure take in, valve dude. handle to open. Once fixed, the escape will to open up out, for you eh? and your team. Use your abilities to stay alive. Used at the right time. They can mean the difference between life well, and death. Her ability was Be to careful, climb into though. well. Star sign abilities have a cooldown that will prevent overuse. So plan Star wisely. Sign. Remember, you have the victims' captured, beaten, abilities are based on like so your injuries are severe. and cancer and you need shit. Need to escape before you succumb to your wounds. Virgo, Scorpio. As the match continues, you will start to bleed out more and more. Be wary of leaving blood trails behind. You can be tracked. Health items Yikes. can slow this process, but you can't stop it. Escape is the only option. Finding fellow victims and working together is recommended, but not required. Grouping with teammates can have a multitude of advantages. So, but your we all start separated, also increase. and you can just try Choose to escape your on your own or group up wisely. if you can run into each other. The only question is, it's interesting. who will survive, and what will be left of them? Cut that close. God damn. How many characters are there? Sunny, Leland, Julie, Anna, Connie. Five. Connie grew up on a farm. Is accustomed to hard work. Not afraid to get her hands dirty. If you want to know what their special abilities are. May not be the strongest, but makes up for it with wits and precision. Crafty, intelligent, natural tinkerer. Can solve most problems, whether they're mental or physical. Get to the ability. Her focus ability allows her to open locked doors almost immediately. She's far the best of the group in this department. Instant door opening. Her ability does negatively affect Connie's stamina and situational awareness. She will have more difficult time detecting family members and her stamina pool will be depleted for a time. So you can instantly open a door, but then she sucks for a bit afterwards. So you probably have to chill and hide for a bit. Okay. Anna. Overcome many hardships. Is she Hispanic? A desperate hunt for a missing sister Maria. She knows. I bet this is all references to the movies. Tough and motivated. Anna's a natural leader. Sometimes struggles with more technical tasks, but her determination is unmatched. So she's the opposite of Connie. She probably sucks at opening doors. She's able to reduce pain and damage taken for a period of time once activated. So she can tank damage. Helps her get out of situations quickly. Keep her protected other, others by distracting family members or trying to harm them. She is literally the tank. G. 
Julie. There's a lot of female survivors. Southern California native through and through. Grew up in an environment that some might consider easy. Excelled at sports. Nothing in life has prepared her for the horrors that await. We'll have to find a different kind of toughness to live now. What the hell is that light doing in her skeleton? She has amazing stamina and poise. Can use her athletic ability to move quietly or run for long periods of time. She's the runner. She can avoid detection and sneak up more easily on unaware family members or have an edge when fleeing. She also has a pretty substantial rack. Leland. Native Texan. All around tough guy. Oh, just this is the um the token straight white guy. These are probably all characters that have survived the various Texas Chainsaw movies. Maybe the strongest of the group, he does lack finesse and proficiency. He vastly makes up for us by working well with others. Has a shitty haircut. Nice jeans, though. Can put his wrestling training to good use by barging and stunning the strongest family members. So he's a match for the handsome serial killer. <laughs> Barely. Use an ambush to protect fellow teammates or a last-ditch effort to escape. He's still no direct match for the hellish nightmare, but he must do what he has to live and... Yeah, okay. Last one. Sunny. Persistent, kind-hearted, loyal. Sunny's the guy everyone goes to when his friends need him for whatever struggles they're going through. Oh no, the token black dude in the horror movie. I, um... I'd feel bad if I played as Sunny and, and got myself killed first. Because, you know, that's a bit of a cliche. He's not just hyper-intelligent, he's quick on his feet. Especially if it's me, Tenor. Sunny is able to use his heightened senses to pinpoint the location of friends and enemies, as well as important environmental objects. So he's the scanner of this group. Of the, of the good guys. Can tell where his friends and enemies are. Situational awareness. That's his superpower. Alright, that's enough. Let's see if we can get it to work. So you can play as family, victims, or just quick match it. I guess we just quick match it. Both. I don't give a shit. Family now. It's up to you to secure the property. I think we just got serial killer as our escaping. first um our first Family's match. Family's way of life depends on it. Keep all doors locked and make sure all exits are closed, trapped, or guarded. Make sure to monitor crucial pieces of equipment like generators, the fuse box, and the water valve. Already watched this. You've been captured by. Finding a match. Five minute countdown. Oh, you're in Australia? Zero minute countdown. Just boot me back to the main menu. That didn't take long. Are you in Australia buy a new game? Yeah, exactly. Do I get to pick? Ooh. Let's be Johnny. It's kind of sexy. I want to use his tracking and looking for clues ability. I'm going to find Sonny. I'm going to kill him first. <laughs> Sorry, Sonny. You got to go. Oh, there's a skill tree. And loadouts. I'm gonna guess I've got nothing because I'm I'm new. There's a text chat. Let's write. Poo poo. There we go. I'm. I'm super mature. I'm just want everyone to know that.
Hopefully other players don't have the ability to kick, because I hate games like this where you always get kicked out of groups because you have no levels. If you're like level 0 or 1, all the characters in the group that are like level 10 and above just like boot you out because they don't want newbies ruining the game for them. It's harsh. Leatherface is refusing to ante up. Oh, there he is. Look at my fucking jeans, bro. Smexy ass Levi's. And we're just waiting on Connie. Connie the KHM diplomat. Fucking hell, Connie. I want to follow Sissy around and see what she does. Connie is AU as well. How can you tell? Oh, look, that's um, it's a mixture of uh, Xbox, PC, and something else. There's three different um, there's three different platforms in this match. I just saw the textures pop in. God damn it. <sighs> Sissy. Were the Texas Chainsaw family uh, incestuous at all? Like, was there action going on between Johnny and Sissy? Holy shit. Asking for a friend. It's time. Oh yeah. Uh. Um. I don't know, man. Yeah. Oh fuck. <laughs> just, just practicing with my switchblade and laughing to myself. Damn it, Johnny. Get your head straight. Come on now. <gasps> Blood. Gross. Is this chicken? I do not like chicken. Noisy fucking chicken. Grandpa. Anyone know where Grandpa is? I'm, I believe I'm supposed to give him blood, but like... How? Where's the house? And how do I run? Oh, there. I do have some absolute clompers on me, don't I? This man can really stomp around. Holy shit. Ah. Oh, I don't know why the fuck I was scared by my own family. <laughs> like, oh god, I'm gonna die. Wait, that's my brother. <laughs> oh, that's disgusting, sissy. Why have you done this? Let me do it as well. Grandpa's not hungry. Well, fuck you then. I'll get a new grandpa and feed them blood, how about that? Oh, Jesus. For someone who's meant to be a serial killer, I'm really jumpy. Wait. Ow. How to feed? Uh... Oh, that was, um, that was a victim. Alright, cool. 
How the? Oh shit. None of these buttons are working. Okay. Oh, there it is. You have to stand on the side. Lame. Alright, there you go. Sounds like chainsaw guy knows what he's doing. Oh shit! Mole honey. I got a poker for you. Yes. What happened? Far out. Sneaky. Oh, this is gonna be easy. Not quite yet. Oh, sh <laughs> you little fucker. Oh, my God. Oh, that's unfortunate. I am sorry. Oh, sugar. Does that hurt? Sissy, you need therapy. I was fucked up. Well. You right, kid? Black kid ain't alright. We were right, though. The black guy was the first one to die. Where did Connie go? I chased her in this direction originally. I was actually kind of fond of that girl. I, I didn't really want to hurt her. This is pointless, you know. Quit stalling. <laughs> Sup, baby girl. Oh my god, all three of us? <laughs> Holy shit. I'm so sorry. Whoa, what happened to her legs? I stabbed her so hard, it noodlified her legs. It caused spaghettification. Oh, I got achievements. Also, she disconnected. I stabbed her so hard, she disconnected the game. I don't know what that button does. Yeah. <laughs> That's the most vicious serial killing ever. Disconnected and spaghettified. What's up, Grandpa? Oh, someone's already done it. Well, I've got more. We need some. I don't know where we're keeping this blood on our person. Did I just like suck it out of my victim and I've got it in my mouth ready to spit into grandpa? Time to play. Oh, I'm so covered with the blood of a Hispanic girl. All over my nice Levi's. Typical Saturday night. Good job, Gramps. 
creepy song, bitch. Hello? No, that's sissy. That ain't sissy. That is sissy. I can't even recognize my own sis from a distance. Nobody escapes me. I love how he's like, nobody escapes me, but like, there's no one around. Everyone has literally escaped me. Good job, Johnny. What's the chainsaw guy doing? <laughs> we both have blood, dude. We're also keen to just shove blood down this old man's throat. Nah, there's enough of us checking on Grandpa. Grandpa's power at max. Hello. Fuck. There's no way Grandpa's still hungry. Grandpa's full. Yeah, I thought so. Seeing my fucking sister again. Hello. Coming downstairs. Oh, she did. She did. Winners. That is a happy serial killer right there. He's having a good time. Good for him. God, look at my levels. Excuse me? Level 4? Level 5? Level 6? Level 6 and a half from one match. Off zero. That's kind of nuts. I wonder what the cap is. Although it is uh, levels per character, so if you play as a different character, you're back to zero. And there's a lot of characters. I feel like I'm still haunted by stab by me stabbing that Hispanic girl. I don't think I have it in me to be a serial killer. I saw the fear in her eyes and I just, I felt, I just felt bad. I felt empathy. I don't think I'm supposed to feel empathy. You know how hard it is to get blood out of Levi's jeans? Johnny? Fucking psycho. <laughs> There's something really funny to me about a uh, a leather face with the gamertag Miss Baby Girl. That's amazing. 
Leatherface is kind of fabulous. Yas Queen. Here's Johnny. In five seconds. The search continues in Muerto County for a missing University of Texas student. The Sheriff's Department says Maria Flores, a native of Uvalde, was last seen near the town of Newt. Her vehicle was recently discovered. Is that a dead armadillo? Officials reporting no <laughs> signs of foul play. Can I beat someone to death with an armadillo? Caucus? That'd be a great kill. Family and friends are urging anyone with information regarding Holy shit. It seems to always start with one of us getting gutted right off the bat. Is it the same map but nighttime? My entire family started in the house without me. Fucking game dropped me in the poppy seed farm fields. Yay. I don't even know how to get to the house. I can't fit through that gap. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm going to shut this off in case this helps. I may have helped the victims by turning that off, I'm not actually sure.
If Grandpa was able, this would be over by now. I better go feed him. Nice. There an option to help victims? I don't know, man. <laughs> Maybe in case you uh, have a change of heart. It's my character arc. Johnny feels bad. Hmm. Hello? Surprise? No, I'm over there. Damn it, Johnny. Get your head straight. Come on now. They're a crouch. Time to play. I don't think there's a crouch. Hello? I wonder if the um, the victims can do anything to Grandpa if they reach him. Don't worry, I like it when they run. Where? Underground? Someone die? I think there's a shitload of basement underground. Ain't never quite the same after Hello. That, let me tell you. Hi. <laughs> What's up, darling? I'm so confused. All right. Go ahead and hide. It ain't gonna matter. Your little friend put up a better fight than this. Come on. Make it interesting, will you? I don't exactly know where she went. I was a little uncoordinated. Johnny is drunk. Don't get drunk before this? serial killing. Well, Sissy's underground. Let the faces out back. I'm just chilling. Excuse me. Oh. What the fuck's going on down there? <laughs> There's a lot of action underground. I saw the token white guy take a swing at somebody. Just punching on.
Leatherface. Where the fuck is Grandpa? I don't know this place. Ah. A lot of grandpa just has a hammer. Not doing jack shit with the hammer, but he's got one. Just Leatherface chilling out front. I think... I think victims have a nasty tendency to disconnect on purpose when they die. Just from impatience. Well, that's unfortunate. Come here, boy. Where y'all think you're going? You little shit. Oh, you little shit. Well, I hope you landed on your neck. What was that? I think there's a werewolf down there. I think uh, the black kid's done for. He jumped into the werewolf pit. The fool. Someone is actually strangling Grandpa. What the fuck? What's up, Leather? Just letting Grandpa get murdered? Cool. Oh, it's Sissy. Someone strangle Grandpapa. What if I use my tracking? Where did they go? I'm not finding any clues. Talking to. <laughs> Victim escaped. Ah. Oh, there's one. <laughs> Someone's in trouble. Or. Oh, that was my sister. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Where run off to? Aha. Hmm. This spore is recent. Ah. What is this? Already closed. Okay. Oh! I just, I just saw someone get whacked. Uh huh. It's shocking how easy it is to lose people when they're right in front of you. I was taking swings at that chick and then she was gone.
Leather's underground. Sissy's in the house. I suppose this would be easier if you understood the maps better. <laughs> That's all, sis. Wow. That's two of four escaped. I think they're escaping to the basement, which is a place I've never even been. Blood. Oh. Everyone's running around like crazy. Oh, got something. Nope, it's already gone. The three of us seem very confused. Like, this is the Three Stooges right now. Where's he going? She. Sissy's leaving. Bye, Sissy. Someone upstairs? Someone upstairs? Uh, nah, it's Leatherface. Fuck! Oh, there goes the third. <laughs> okay. Somehow Leatherface is still pleased as punch with his performance, despite the fact that we lost three people. Not a great murder family. Not much murdering done. Still somehow leveled up. Almost twice. <laughs> cool. Death by bleed out. So the token white guy is the only one that died. <laughs> Good. Heat shit. <sighs> Have you noticed that um, everyone's very quiet in this game? Like, no one's using a mic. I haven't had a single person. So much for, um, so much for collaborating with your team. The game's all about, yeah, teamwork, teamwork, teamwork in the, in the tutorial. In the actual game, fuck all teamwork. The best part of that match by far was near the end, when, um, all three serial killers were standing out the back of the house, confused. <laughs> Not knowing what to do. That was the best. Alright. Anyone want a sour lolly? For team building? I'm gonna pa uh, a bag of sour patch kids. No? Okay. More for me then. More for Johnny. Get it from Microsoft and <laughs> purchase a skin. Ew.
What the fuck? I can't seem to respec. I accidentally clicked on this, and now it's locked out these ones. I don't know how to undo what I've done. Wow. Fuck, I don't know, man. It's a little weird that I choose I chose quick match and any for family or victim and three times in a row it's given me family. Doesn't seem to want to randomize victim. Hey, no token black kid this time. Now it's anyone's game. You have no idea who will die first. My money's on the Hispanic chick. As the only person I've ever managed to kill. <laughs> My knife at Hunkies. New details have emerged in the grisly string <clears throat> of murders that littered Interstate 40 during 19... And 72, known only as the terror of I-40, authorities say an unidentified woman spent years hitchhiking from Texas to California, where she viciously murdered several truck drivers and three other young women along the route. Billy Jasper of Winthrop. Oh, now I know what this cutscene is. It always shows one of the uh, one of the victims that isn't currently being played as being murdered. This is the cutscene. So he is the first one to die. No matter what. This game is racist. I knew I should have handled this myself. I'll fix it. Nobody escapes me. <laughs> Nobody escapes me. What about that previous match when everyone escaped you? Almost everybody escaped that level. Fail. It never happened. Whoa, this place is huge. Look how far away my fam my fans are. Ow. I'm okay. I'm not okay. Victim noise. Now that was me. I stepped on electrical grating. I'm not a good serial killer. I'm guessing we should probably leave that. This is probably a really bad place to start, because this is like... This is where they have to escape. So they'll be nowhere near this area right now. That glassy look in his eyes when I got electrocuted. I actually thought he was dead. I don't know how to join the fam. This way? 
Well, this is one of the directions that they can escape. Which is a terrible place for me to start, because they won't be anywhere near. I'm mobilized. You son bitch. Hello. You little fuck. You don't want to touch grandpa? Huh? You fuck with my grandpa? Come here, son. Oh, I'm gonna ream you with this knife, I am. Cool, you lucky denim jeans wearing fruit pie. Another face. Kill. Tracking time. Oh my god. You <laughs> little bitch. She's going out to the street. Can I throw the knife? Like a hero? But I have better stamina than that. Alright, Leather. I got this. Oh my god, just duck and weave, why don't you? When the stamina runs out, he just kind of stands there and squares up. Are you serious? I could catch her. I could catch her from here, for real. Well, now what? Oh, you're gonna murder me? Good job. Why don't we take this armadillo back? And we'll just pretend this was her. I think Gra Grandpa's pretty old and senile. He'll believe us. No one has to know that we let that bitch go. She's still in the distance. You reckon you can hock that chainsaw? Nah? What? Someone else escaped somehow. While we're standing here. Contemplating the life and death of this armadillo. Oh well. Don't worry, Leather. There'll be more teenagers eventually. We'll get some kills. There's always more teenagers to slaughter. There's another armadillo up that way. What the fuck? <laughs> Both directions there's a dead armadillo. <laughs> This would be over by now. I better go feed him. Sissy is on the opposite side of the map. We are very spread out. Basement open? I don't know where the basement is. Sure, okay, Leatherface, you can stay out here on the street in case somebody gets through. I'll lock this door behind me. So you'll hear if they're breaking through it. Good luck. Oh my god. I don't like the fact that I got myself covered in blood for nothing. My clothes are absolutely filthy, and I have 
no teenage murders to my name. It's been a bad day on the ranch. Didn't even level up that time. <laughs> it was awful. Nobody got killed. Three people escaped, one person disconnected from the universe. Exited the Matrix. That's why I've been closing doors and locking them behind me. <laughs> I'm not sure if Sissy ever even got a chance to see any of the killers, the victims. On her side of the map. I don't like starting at the, uh, on the street, on that map. It kind of puts you, like, the furthest away from the action. You want to kind of start reasonably close to where the victims will start from. So you can head them off before they get anywhere near an exit. Isn't my character class supposed to be able to put padlocks on doors that no one else can do? It said I can carry three padlocks, so I can um, manually lock doors that don't normally have locks. I haven't seen that function yet. TikTok Rachi. Oh, someone, um... Leatherface is required to start. You can't actually start a match without Leatherface on the team. That's interesting. Oh, no, it was the, um... The other guy that does the padlocks. I just remembered. The old dude. That dude. That's a padlock guy, I think. I wonder what the controller symbol means. The Xbox logo is Xbox. The little icon of the PC is people on PC, but what's the controller? Like... Maybe it's cloud. PS4 or 5? You reckon? It's probably PlayStation. I haven't seen any like PS logos. They probably just use a controller. We can text chat. Baba. Ga. Noosh. Is Baba Ganoosh? Baba Ganoosh. My face is covering it. Oh, there's, okay. There's two different levels, I just noticed that. My Johnny is level 7. Or, wait. My Johnny is level 1, but my gamer tag is level 7? Or is it reverse? I can't tell. Oh, 
Why is Johnny level one? Johnny, you suck. Sonny's back. Now we know who to focus on. Hey, Sonny. Johnny about to do some stabbing. This is a sundown town, boy. And that sun's almost down. Sissy kind of scares me. There's something about her face in the... The distance of her eyes, how far her eyes are apart, that freaks me out. Also the stabbing. The stabbing's kind of freaky. Back to dead armadillos? This game's obsession with armadillos. <laughs> you can't skip this cutscene, by the way. You always have to watch someone get gutted at the start. I'm good. This is pretty. It's a pretty level. Already? Grandpa, you're on fire today. Oh, yeah. They are making moves down there in the basement. Wait, I have an idea. I'll relock this. Break this first. What's over here? Oh, way in. Hi, sissy. You hard at work? Making poison? It's me, your brother. I'm in the bushes. We're such good friends. I love my sister. He's fucking crazy, though. <laughs> I don't know how to squat, Tenor. I don't think I can. I don't think this character squats. I've tried every button on the controller. I'll find you. Don't you worry about that. Can I lock this? No. What was that? Yo. Oh, it was sissy. There's someone downstairs. Jesus. She's so keen to do some slashing. 
I'm so proud of my sister. Maybe I can't crouch because this character's jeans are too tight. Here you go, old man. <laughs> Grandpa thing is so creepy. Leatherface, bro. We kind of need doors to keep them from... You know what? Never mind. The door's fucked now. We can't lock that anymore. Well, good job. Now, where did you go? Let's check out the basement. We've never been down here before. Cool. This place is icky. Oh. Hmm. I'm going to taste their footprints. Yes. I will find you. This bitch. Oh, God. Oh, God. Hey, Connie. Ooh, if I could just reach through this little gap and just cut the tram step off the spine. Ooh. Be way over there. There sure was. Murder this bitch. Oh, feels so good. Are you gonna finish her or what? There we go. Oh, actually stabbed right in the tramp stamp. Wow. Don't wipe that on your forearm. I think maybe that person was AFK. Oh, what is happening? Whoa! Yo! I think the victims, every time I kill someone, they get possessed. Is that her? Oh, that's her head in her midriff. With her upper torso doing, like, roly-polies around it. I have never seen something like that before. That's fucked up. Oh, hello. Sup, boy. For real? Oh, my God. Holy shit. <laughs> Someone was on the varsity football team? Damn. I killed your girlfriend, by the way. Scream for me. Lucky fucker. Come on, you could you could reach through there. You got arms on you? What are you doing? Well, that's a stalemate. I could glory hole you through this gap. You wanna suck my dick? What's he doing? He's taking a swig of whiskey. He's making a runner. Oh shit! I <laughs> got an extra slap in. Yes! <laughs> yes! This is how your girlfriend died, by the way. Isn't that romantic? You both got to go out the same way. What do you mean I'm blind? I got two murders. I'm a successful serial killer today. You're too late, Leather. I already killed two people. It was fantastic. I was erect while doing it. How have you been? Collecting blood? Okay. Go ahead and hide. It ain't gonna matter. 
So who's left? That's at least two dead. That means there's another two somewhere. Someone in here? Nope. Ain't no tracks here. Okay, well. This place is a bit of a maze. I would like to feed Grandpa, but I don't know how to get out of here. Cool. Uh. Time to play. Up. Wait. No. I can see Grandpa through the ceiling, but I don't know how to get up there. What does up on the joystick do? The joystick? You mean the thing that shows everyone through walls like that? There's someone. Yep, that's three down. We have one more. That person didn't even have a name. Oh, that's the one that shows everything through walls. Like this. I can see outlines of stuff. Oh, there's two people in the distance. Sissy's going for the kill. RB is tracking, yeah. Doesn't help if they haven't been around recently. Did she just get... What is going on out here? Oh, it's the black kid. Oh, she got him. <laughs> I just showed up just in time to see that. Oh, sugar. Good job, Does sis. Let's make out. Oh, it's too late. Why does Leatherface look like Grandma? What is this skin? <laughs> okay. Well, at least we succeeded. And I got to see the final kill up close and personal. And I got to make out, me and my um, blood-covered sister got to make out like freaks. I think Leatherface has the mentality of like a six-year-old. I think that's why he celebrates no matter when or lose. He's just happy to be here. I thought I was going to be MVP of that um, that round because I got two kills, but Leatherface somehow got more points. I'm going to miss my sister, Sissy. We're killed and we did smooches. And we bathed in the blood of our victims. He's just vibing. <laughs> what can I say? Leatherface is a viber. But the face just likes to vibe. Look, there he is, just vibing. Like a good old boy. What is this? The ward's random perk. Alright. 
What? Chickens won't make noise unless you're very close to them. Chicken detection radius reduced by 20%. Yes, chickens. If I walk into my sister's own poison clouds, it can boost my stamina. That's cute. Where am I going with this? These skill trees are confusing and annoying. I don't think I like them. That's it. There's nowhere left to spend points. Yeah. No, I get locked out. If I if I level in one direction, it locks me out of other directions. So I only get stuck on one path and I can't seem to undo it. But now I've got everything. There's nothing left to put points in. At least I finally figured out how to level him up. I just wasn't spending those points. Yeah, I ran out of time. The game just started on me. I couldn't pick up all that stuff. Connie's getting it this time. Right in the midriff. Oh, above it. The chainsaw across the titties. I knew I should have handled this myself. I'll fix it. Where are you putting that blood, man? Gross. He like digs it like a like with doggy paws. Damn it. Fuck. There you go. I can see someone's name flashing at the top of the screen like they're talking, but why can't I hear anything? Wait. Now I can hear something.
Wait, I can hear it now. Did you hear that? Well, that's weird. I turned up um, the chat volume on the controller. Well, that's odd. Wait. This dude's actually screaming right now on my headphones. Oh, really? I got through halfway through it before I realized it was locking me out of other routes. crouching. CC. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Somebody be in the bushes. Get him, sis. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, that guy is having a really good time. What does this do? Fuck all. I think someone's getting chainsawed. Oh god. Good job. That was a veritable Texas Chainsaw Massacre up in this piece. I think it's the first time I've actually seen anyone playing as Leatherface, Chainsaw Body, Chainsaw Somebody. It's about damn time. I think it's only the black kid left. You folks don't know who you're messing with. Nobody ever gets away from me. The black guy is actually the final survivor. Amazing. Here you go, old man. Oh, you can even see the liquid coming out of the bottle when you feed grandpa. Ew. Hey sis, that don't want to be toxic or nothing, but did you have to have such a high riding skirt on that dress? A respectable southern family? I don't want people leering on my sister. Look at him go. <laughs> God damn. Leatherface is losing his goddamn mind. somebody. Ah, it's sis. There he goes again. 
I don't think Leatherface has a bead on any survivors. I think he's just living life to the fullest. Oh. Oh. Well. I think this last kid may have just given up and made base camp somewhere and is now living their life in a bush somewhere. He's gone to ground. Oh, that's good, ain't it? There, there. It's all right, Grandpa. Dude! Bro! <laughs> what the fuck? Where'd that little scamp go? Oh, there he is. Yeah, get him, dude. Get him, dude. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Wait, he's not dead. Oh, this is going to be awful. Oh, no. And then he got some badge to the face. Just for the... <laughs> for one last little bit of indignity. That was very alarming. I thought he was coming up to whack my sister on the back of her head while she was feeding Grandpa. He came out of nowhere. Neat. Let's go back to the menu real quick. Mm. Alright. We seem to have an interesting issue. Uh, settings. Volume audio output. Speaker audio, HDMI headset format. Additional options. Party chat output headset and speakers. Chat mixer. It's allow pass through. Allows apps to send audio directly to your HDMI device to be decoded. Notification on the system sounds, including narrator, won't play while apps are using this setting. Do you think um, Texas Chainsaw Massacre has got some kind of like thing programmed into it to um, um, to not allow party ch uh, to not allow chat to go through streams? Because I've, I have come across this in the past. Because at first, the only reason I wasn't, I saw that speaker flash in a previous match, briefly uh, on one person playing. Um, but it turned out, I just had the volume balance between chat and game, all the way into game. I must have mistook it for the volume up and down button. So they actually were chatting, and I fixed it during that match. But what you were saying, it's still not coming through the stream. Can't hear in-game chat. Okay, let's... 
Let's do this. Yeah, I looked at the um, the audio mixer on the OBS, and when um, that Portuguese guy was yelling, he was screaming while running around as um, as Leatherface. There was no spiking on the audio mixer, so I could tell that the voice wasn't coming through. Can hear in-game chat. Apex, Texas Massacre, stream. Check your voice chat settings under broadcast option. Hold up. Here's a Reddit post about it. Nope. That's someone streaming. Streaming guide, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Here we go. For our community, wanted to give everyone who wants to stream a way to celebrate Texas Chainsaw Massacre below will be what our team has worked on for anyone. Blah, 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 blah. Is there a forum? She used to see me talking to myself. I, st I still haven't um, got to be a victim yet. Is no one talking about it? Damn it. It's got to be something. Seems like there's a lot of um, service issues with PlayStation players. I keep talking about it on the Twitter. Support. We welcome creators to make videos and stream gameplay on their preferred platform. Check the creator resources we put together here. Is that it? Wow, they give you like actual uh, design materials to use on your stream just for this game. That's cute. Let's try and change this. Uh, Ch Texas Chainsaw Massacre game. Twitch chat can't hear. Voice chat not working. How to fix possible blah blah blah. Texas Chainsaw players facing a voice issue when they try out the co-op multiplayer game. Issues not allowing them to communicate with each other. That's not the issue though. Here, here we go. 
Stream can't hear in-game voice chat. I stream Texas Chainsaw Massacre sometimes on stream and my friends and I have noticed that we can't hear the voice chat audio on stream. Um... Troubleshooting article for PC voice chat. That doesn't help. This is that was a bot. This is just how to fix your own voice chat. This is not about how to see hear voice chat on stream. God, no one ever helps. Mm. Developer response. Here's another one. Viewers can't hear party or in-game chat while streaming. If you're using headphones, it will negate the party chat. Only what goes onto your TV is what's broadcasted on stream. No, I've fixed that in the past. That's why I check the audio being put through to headphones and speakers. In the party, you must hit settings and allow party voice to stream. I know the setting is on the main console, but for some reason it was off in party. Wow, a lot of people having this issue. Oh, he, okay, so someone fixed the party chat issue by clicking the setting to allow it, but people still have problems with the in-game chat. Um, do you think I should swap to PC? Maybe it'll work better on PC. Because I don't think it's any fun if you can't hear people in the game. Well, let's try it. It's play anywhere, so my... um. My stats from the Xbox will trip will carry over to this. Bloop. Cool. All right.
let's just let that I'm gonna go back on the Xbox for a sec while this downloads. Put this over here. So I can keep an eye on it. Blip. <laughs> Why do things have to be problems? Um, what else? Capture settings. No? Wait, where am I now? Recommendations. Accessibility. Narrative controller game chat. Transcription? The fuck? Oh, text to speech. No. Audio. No. Capture and share. Family settings? No. Privacy and online safety. Communication and multiplayer. That seems fine. Profile. Linked social accounts. What does that even mean? Oh, like Facebook and shit. Nah. Network settings. No. Audio. There's nothing in here that's set wrong. Wait. Maybe speaker settings back to speakers, not headphones. Party options. No. Hmm. Let's just see what happens. Do, 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 do. I hate online troubleshooting bullshit. Oh, 
Ah. Victims. Meow. Hmm. Our downloads on like ten percent. It's taking a while. Oh shit. Why you default me to Sunny? Why well, you want me to die first? Thanks, game. Sonny, Sonny. Honestly, the most hilarious thing that could happen right now is if Sonny is the one in the opening cutscene getting gutted from the hook and I don't even get to play. <laughs> awesome. What a kick in the pants that would be. Holy shit, vanilla latte. Ah, I love vanilla lattes. God damn it. Come back to me. I just realized Sonny's got a pencil mustache. <laughs> Whatever happens to him, he deserves it. A stash is terrible. In fact, I might just run into Leatherface's chainsaw. Just be done with it.
just realized we're up against Leatherface and two white boys flanking him. It's the Cis Male Brigade. Do you think we still have to watch that cutscene, or do you think we get to start early? Shit. Oh my god. Wow. I did not know that how that's how we started. He got out of here damn quick. <laughs> Left me to die. Oh my god. So much for my life. Oh god, help me. What happened to Leatherface? He just kind of stopped. I think I was so easy to kill, he got bored. Okay. Can't complain with that. This is Fuse box. Alright. Oh shit. Oh no. <laughs> no. Wait, how do I use the bone scrap on him? Am I dead already? Oh no, I'm fine. He helped me up. No. False alarm. He led me to believe. He was empathetic to my plight. Like he was going to help me up and pat me on the shoulder and let me on my way, but it was all a ruse. I'm mad. I'm a mad Sonny. I'm gonna haunt these people from beyond the grave. They seem kind of wily when you're playing as the killers. So um, they get away from you very easily. But then when you when you're actually playing as the victim, it's it's not that easy. <laughs> Leatherface is actually doing some work. Look at Anna go. Oh, she's fucked. Someone's behind her. Yep. Oh my god, the Achilles heels? Oh. Why do you start with the Achilles heels? <laughs> That's fucked up. Remember the guy in the um, in the Steam reviews that said Connie had a 10 out of 10 ass? I think this is what he was talking about. Not bad. I think Connie's out of here. She's made it down Armadillo Road. Or not. Why? What are you, what are you doing? Fuck is your plan? You just trying to make it exciting? I think you're trying to make it exciting. Just wait till the last second before she runs down the road to make it like a tight squeeze. Maybe there's an achievement for escaping like 
mere feet away from getting caught by a killer. Like, in the nick of time. And she was basically waiting just to force it to happen. It was a pathetic display. Why is my score so high? I walked down one corridor and then got chainsawed up the Tukas. Why was that worth 2,450? I did nothing. Maybe it's pity score. You roleplayed. They gave me points for roleplaying correctly. For the character I was playing. Harsh. No love for Sunny. The fuck? Progression show. Oh look, Johnny. Level 10, maxed. Does it seem like it was a bit too easy to max out Johnny to 10? I don't think that took very long. A couple of the matches were complete fails, so that didn't actually give me any points to spend, but... After just like two or three successful matches, I'm pretty much sure I had enough to um, fill up that whole thing. Oh wow, check it out. Actual behind the scenes footage from the movies. Cool. It's old school. That's actually one of the actresses hiding in the freezer, like you can do in the game. How legit does that look? That dirt road down from the house? And the hitchhiker dude stabbing the chick in the back? That's literally what we saw happen in the game. Clean. I should rewatch that movie. I don't really remember anything from these films. It's been so long since I've seen them. So what is player level 13? So I'm player level 12. What was that? Concept art for Johnny. Player level 70 seems to be the highest unlockable.
So maybe it only goes up to 70 instead of 99. There are so many. Holy shit. There's a slaughterhouse. I don't know if we played the slaughterhouse before. Player 99 le reached. Okay, so you can reach 99. So, in about two-ish hours we got to 12. But I'm guessing that you need more experience the higher you get. So it'll take longer and longer. Uh-oh. Oh, I do have things linked. Whoa. I don't know what I just did. We're going to Edge. I still have Tinykin and Trek to Yumi tabs open. Those have been there for ages. So what do I have linked? Who was that? Linked social accounts. Discord, Reddit, Steam, Twitch. Is that it? I can't link like Instagram or Twitter. Easier on mobile. Yeah, I bet. Content restrictions. Did I look at this? Oh, never mind. That's probably for family friendly in the console if you got kids. How are we going? Thirty five per cent. Oh, boy. I wonder what Nicotero means. What's that say? Nicotero Leatherface? Nicotero. Greg Nicotero. American special effects makeup creator. First job was on George A. Romero's film Day of the Dead. So it's a shout out to um, special effects makeup supervisor, Greg Nicotero. That's neat. Probably costs real world money though. It seems like every time I hit quick match, it seems to favor putting you as a killer rather than a victim. Not sure why. Maybe more people are rolling victim 
as a choice. So the auto thing is putting more people on killer. Hell even is that on the hitchhiker's face? Am I scarred or is that just war paint? If it's war paint, he's a dork. I don't know what that is hanging around his neck, but I have a feeling it's roadkill. At first I thought maybe it's like a satchel for water. I think it's roadkill. He just likes the smell of decaying skunk. Freaking weirdo. I told you quick match always drops you into into killer. I've never had a quick match give me victim. The man believed to be responsible for multiple stranglings in East Texas is finally in custody tonight. Authorities followed a tip that led them to a deserted motel outside Bryant, where they caught the man in the act of subduing 36-year-old Kelsey Keo, the man whose name is being withheld. <laughs> Sonny's dying first again. Harsh. Sonny can never catch a break. God, I think I've got ticks. This man keeps scratching himself like he's got ticks. Oh, that's what the battery does. It turns off the electrical, um... Electrical flooring. Which I did myself on that one map as an experiment. So I actually made it easier on the... On the victims. Great. Look, more armadillo references. Hello, Clarice. Let's to put a trappy trap trap. Somebody around here has to catch him. There you go. Nice. I can do three of those, I think. What was that? Oh, it's Cook. What'd you hear, boy? What'd you hear? Look at him scurry. I can't hear nothing. Nothing? Alright. 
It's all cool. Cook. Help me murder. What? Oh, I got someone in the trap, but they got away. They didn't stay in the trap for very long. Lame. I'm so paranoid, but I don't know why. I'm I'm a killer. I shouldn't be as paranoid as I am. Sweet. They break through that. Got a little trap waiting for them. Hey, Grandpa. What the hell are y'all doing? I see it calling his bum. <laughs> that takes so long. Wow, I really lost this chick. Or did I? Wait! Oh. Hello. You can run, but you got a gash in your back. Jesus, Leatherface. At least some for the rest of us. Oh. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Damn, that stamina's a problem. going on? Oh. I'm so confused. I lose them so quickly. Oh. 
Well, someone up there got murdered. Yay. Oh, hello. He's just doing laps of this fucking house. Getting a little tired of this. Why? Okay, never mind. It's never happened before. <laughs> wow. It won't let me. Oh shit. Fuck's sake. Oh, you son of a... Ah, I've had just about enough of you. Yeah, y'all help. Okay, that wasn't her that escaped. Somebody else did while we were busy with Redhead. I'm so confused. Oh, someone's gone. Well, it's still... It's still the chick with the orange. She seems to love this house quite a bit. Am I blind? Wait, that wasn't open before. Hey Leather, what's up? Having a good time? Great. He's just partying. Everyone's really confused right now. There's a single girl hiding in a bush somewhere. I think I'm out of these traps, because it won't let me do another one. Hey, little girl. You hide in the cactus? No. I'm gonna find you. I'm gonna find you and catch you in my wave. God, all my friends, all my family members are over there. Interesting.
Hello? Who the fuck is screaming? <laughs> this this cook shambling. Oh Yeah, absolute bench. I see you. I knew she was still hiding around this fucking house somewhere. I knew it. I'm gonna spit in her open wounds. You little Ooh. I'm gonna stalk you. You're playing with that battery, son. What you doing? What you doing? I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. You know what? Eat my ass. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, oh don't do that anymore. There she going. I like your uh, your flared bell bottom jeans. Very cool. Very hip. Very annoying the shit out of me right now. Oh my god. We're back again. Yes! Yes! Ah, oh, spell your name on her chest. Carve your initials. <laughs> Don't be a weirdo about it. Too late. We made it weird. Cringe. Single-handedly pulled this family up out of the dirt. Good job. We always have to watch him celebrate. Why don't the rest of us ever get to celebrate? Not fair. I like to think my craftily placed trap prevented her from escaping back through that gap. It lowered her uh, options. I was able to corner her. A cold strategy. I just saw two Connies for a second. I try being a victim again. When I tried being a victim last time, I was a victim for all but like what? 25 seconds? And then dead. I mean, I wasn't a good survivor, but I was a good victim. So the terminology is correct. Blah. This game seems to be obsessed with giving me Sunny. How dare they. Here we go.
Be a bad survivor, great victim. I make a good slab of meat to practice your carving skills. On the plus side, I've gotten kills with Johnny and the Hitchhiker. I need to still try out Leatherface and Sissy. I want to get at least one kill with each with each, with each murderer. And I want to at least escape as a victim one time. I don't care which one. Those, I think those are good goals. What the hell's happening here? Is the game broken? Why is the menu broken? Okay. What? Okay, I don't know. This lobby's busted. Let me back out of that one. Someday my prince will come. Come on. There we go. It's not busted. Oh, and cook. Sissy. She is got the most intimidating set of brows and facial structure. Jesus Christ. She looks like a murderous manatee in a dress. Why is she dancing with that switchblade? Bitch, you crazy. Come on, more boys in the victims. Someone pick Sunny. I need more boys to lurk and serial kill. Sissy likes killing man meat. I'm going to collect penises as a, as a necklace. Damn it. Too many girls in the victims. At least I can go after Leland. He's probably got a nice 8.5 incher for me to turn into an amulet. I'm coming for you, Leland. I'm gonna cut off your penis. <laughs> Imagine Leland just like logged out, just <laughs> just left the lobby. You know what? Nope. I'm noping the hell out of here. Oh. I think Leland's into it. <laughs> it sounds hot, lol. We'll see if you feel that way when the split bait is uh, being dragged across the shaft. In the car, right through those testes. The game kind of like missed a trick, I think. The fact that in the game, the victims can't hear the killers and the killers can't hear the victims, you can only hear your own team. I think that's a, I, that, I think that's a mistake. The killers should be able to taunt the victims. 
They should be able to hear you, like, taunting them. That is such a big part of serial killer behavior. They really fucked up by not having that in the game. Oh look, it's Sunny again as the first kill. <laughs> this game is really mean to Sunny. Bye, Sunny. She wasn't even moving her mouth while laughing then. That's how crazy she is. Chicken. For always is always forever. Cause one is one is one. Okay, sissy, could you stop singing? Girl, you are giving away our position. Okay, she's done. I was worried then for a second. Cool. Oh, my poison. Nice. Oh shit. That actually jump scared me. Grandpa's scaring his own family. Oh, I see him. Close it. Lock it. I'm just gonna lurk. That's what a good serial killer does, right? You know what, Tenor? Remember when that dude was playing a sissy and he did the crouching thing to me? Oh, there it is. Okay. She can crouch on B. I actually thought I couldn't find the crouch again, but it's um it's B. That button I actually tried B many times as um as Johnny and it didn't do anything. So I think it's I bet some of the more nimbler characters can crouch like her and the hitchhiker. Probably not Johnny and Leatherface. There's Leather, I think. Who is that? That's oh, Cook. Leather's downstairs. Grandpa is in the house. I think I remember the game saying that... Noise? Oh, oh. I see somebody. Damn. I thought if I hit around this corner of the house, the other face would chase him around the back, and I'd get the jump. Didn't work out. Sneaky, sneaky. You're supposed to be able to use your poison kiss thing 
on objects that they have to interact with. And if they interact with it, they get stunned. I need to try that on something. Got you, cut. <laughs> God fucking haymakered. <laughs> My frame betrayed me. Really, girl? Poisoned him. Yes! Yeah, oh, she cut his wrists. Excuse me, Leatherface, could you please let me have my moment? Rude. I'm trying to lovingly embrace Leland before I remove his testicles. Yes, that's my boy. What did I say? Didn't I call it? Leland was mine. The sole boy in the group of victims was going to be sissies. And now I have a plaything. Now I have a plaything forever. I'm gonna take this corpse back to my room. I hope Grandpa doesn't mind. I'm gonna have fun with his bits. <laughs> well, I'm happy. I don't care what else happens in the round. I should probably go give Grandpa some uh, Leyland testicle blood. Oh, you ox. I'm gonna do that. Why am I singing again? She keeps giving away her own position. Look at me covered in Leland. <laughs> That's all his shaft blood. He had a big one. And now it's all over me. Who's actually left? I carved up Leland. One person disconnected. She looks so happy. Of course she does. She killed the boy. She's a man-eater. She's a man-eater. You like that, Grandpa? You're gross. Oh. Somebody in the distance. And also here. Oh, it was Leatherface. There's definitely some someone around that area. The other two are on it already. Nope, there he is. Let me try to make myself useful. And go on the far side. Ooh, what's this? They escaped? What? Ah, they got him. One of them escaped, they got the final one. That must have been the one we saw and then we're both chasing. I was gonna hang out by this little green light gate because I think that was unlocked. Someone was looking to escape through that. told you. I told you I was coming for that jack. Tastes like pulled pork. I fed some to Grandpa. He loved it. Grandpa's pansexual. I don't think you knew that. That's uh, official Texas Chainsaw Massacre lore. All right. Uh, okay. We have kills with Sissy, Hitchhiker, and Johnny. We need Cook and Leatherface. And I need to escape as a victim. We'll try that now.
Let's roll victim again. Oh, by the way, Tanner, um, when I got back to that end screen, the guy playing as Leland randomly said, um, hey, you did end up getting Leland, and that's why I said, yep. <laughs> that's all he said, though, and he said that one thing, and then I think he disconnected. I think he, uh, I think it, he, he's just, he acknowledged that uh, it was me that got him. He probably realized mid-murder. But I did what I was said I was gonna do. Oh hell no! There ain't no way. I'm playing as Leland with Sissy on the map. Hell, nah. Wait, no. Let me change it. Give me the Hispanic girl. Right, uh, there we go. Oh, Sissy's gone. Okay. <laughs> it actually changed. I didn't need to change from Leland. Nope, she's back. God damn it. Alright, it's fine. I ain't gonna go from hunting Leland Peen as Sissy to being on the other end of that. Too poetic. We need to figure out how to play victim better. I think one of the mistakes I made last time was trying to get out of um, my shackles too quickly and I made noise. What was the Hispanic girl's ability again? Someone's already dying. We got this. Just take it easy. No noise. That wasn't me. Oh, shit. Grandpa heard me. This is the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, honey. You're in not a good place. I'm gonna... I'll follow her around. If you run into any problems, I'll just push her in, f in front of the danger. I'll use her as Operation Meat Shield. Nice bomb, by the way. Little clumsy. Ooh, what's this do? Don't know what this is, but I'm taking it. Bone scrap collected. I think it lets me stab somebody. Find unlock tool. Oh, she's the chick that can unlock shit, right? Maybe? Oh no, she's the tank. Her ability lets me, like, tank and heal damage. Whoops. That was bad. We need to scarper. Oh god. Oh, damn. Grandpa saw me again. We're dicked. Oh, hey, Leland. 
Having a good time? That's a chainsaw. I'm gonna go the other way. Yeah, I don't know what the hell they're doing, but I'm going this way. <laughs> There's a chainsaw noise in that direction. Oh my god. You made me shit my britches. Well, this sucks, donkey dick. Um, I think that chicken saw me. <gasps> oh my god. I can hear Sissy. I think she's out here somewhere. Oh fuck. Oh my god. Well, that was a nightmare. Well, <laughs> I'm gonna go behind this house. Hopefully she'll be alright. And if she's not, well... Grandpa? Ah, uh, that was my girl too. We were in this together until I abandoned her to two serial killers. <laughs> Three. <laughs> Every bitch for herself. I gotta start a family, man. I got a life to live. I got a career to get back to. I got a Ponzi scheme to lead. Okay, I don't know who's moaning in the distance, but... Shut the fuck up, chicken. Oh my god, I actually stabbed it. I did not know you could stab chickens. I thought I was just gonna, like, calm it down gently. That chicken got shanked. Is this a thing I'm supposed to do? What's this? Override pressure valve to open. Well, I ain't no engineer. I work in a coffee shop, fuck you. I think it's one of my friends down there getting murdered. It's sissy. She's a scary bitch. Wait, is that? Oh no, stop! Oh, Leatherface and that sexy young man is over there. Chasing around Connie and the Daisy Dukes. Okay, well. This is not good. Where's this valve for the exit? This... I'm not going over there. Like... All of them are over there. Oh my god. <laughs> Don't know what to do with my life right now. How about the ostrich tactic? Can I just bury my head in the sand and hope for the best? You know what? Why am I doing this? I have a screwdriver. How do you use it? I don't know how to use it.
This is so dangerous. I can't see shit. Oh. Lock picking is the shittiest process, I swear to god. Oh no! Okay, now we fuck off. Oh shit! <laughs> what did you do? We... Ow! Oh, my Achilles tendon. If you don't mind, I'm gonna casually climb into this well. Ow! <laughs> what a face plant. Alright, well that doesn't help me too much. I think this is a lot harder when there's less survivors around to distract and spread them out. Oh, there's one. I am actually shocked you're alive. I saw you being chased by like three people. You better move. I think that's her dying. <laughs> that's definitely her dying. That's it. Well, I liked Connie, but I didn't like her that much. 10 out of 10 ass, though. Wow. That actually would be helpful. How do I use health? Why? That almost did nothing. Oh my god. You're about to be detected by Grandpa. Grandpa could shut the fuck up. Ah. Oh. Grandpa, you suck. Why can't I go in there? <laughs> That's not good. Wait, okay, at least I went out epic. <laughs> Enjoy it while you can, Grandma Leatherface. I'll be back to haunt this place. Good effort. <laughs> Leland got no kills. Pansy. Oh, and ninety five percent on the download. Will cookie paste help? Other Texas. Texas Doomer, cookie paste it might help if I can get it into um, the game to distract Leatherface. He's kind of got the mind of a child, so I think you could distract him with candy. How long ago did you send that? I was very distracted for a while there. And I still don't actually know how to, um, escape. <sighs> Five days ago. Back when me and my friends are all still alive. Alright. Let's switch machines, since this is about to finish downloading in 2%. Which is probably seconds away. Back to Sean Kachu.
It is, weirdly enough, it, this is actually the opposite of what I expected, but it seems to be a little bit more fun as a survivor because it's kind of scary and it is a lot more challenging. Um, I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing or how to get out of there, but I was all over the map. When you're a killer, it's kind of fun that you've uh, got the freedom to just sort of wander around and look people to stab in the face, but there's a lot of wandering around, wondering where the victims are. Whereas, like, every single second of creeping around as a survivor is interesting. It's only interesting as a killer is when you actually find somebody and can chase and stab them. Which sometimes doesn't happen for, like, more than half of a match. Ooh, here we go. Game installed. Let's see if we can get this working better. Why did that not bring up my overlay? Excuse me. What the hell? My Xbox overlay is not working. All right. Let's just run the game and see what happens. Hopefully we can fix it with this. Once I've signed my life away. No, 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 no. Texas, can I borrow um, one of your guns? That might make this easier. <laughs> the best I can find is a piece of bone on a dead body to use as a shiv. If you've got a burst fire automatic pistol, I think that'll do it. One of those pistols. <laughs> Take two, akimbo. Oh look, easy anti-cheat. It's got some uh, anti-cheating stuff installed. One of the developers that makes this game is called Gun. It's actually just called Gun. <laughs> Language, show subtitles, fine. Yeah, we've seen this. Do we have to sit through it? I think this is the first time I've played the game. Bro, really? Where is my... I can't get the Xbox overlay to pop up on the PC. Okay. Interesting. It's broken. Three round burst. Nice, that's what we need. There's usually three um there's usually three serial killers per map. So if I have a three round burst beretta and I just basically do one of those wanted gun arcs, I can hit all three with all three bullets from one burst. Like an absolute G. Community news. We're in. Uh, options. Speakers. Voice chat. Microphone. Push to talk. On. Um, ultra. <laughs> Neat. Game. Crossplay enabled. Cool. Uh, apply. There it is. 
Cool. It has a different achievement list from the one on Xbox, even though the save game carries over. That's so weird. All right. Windows default output. Oh, we got to hang on. Close this. Voice meter. Voice meter. Can you hear the music now? Yeah, it looks like you can. All right. Default output voice meter. Voice. Windows default. Xbox controller. Input. Output. I'll just test it. There's a lot of settings. Wait, I can't hear anything. Let me just think about this for a sec. Communications output. Also that. Yep. Microsoft, I don't need to hear from you right now. So what a day in the life in Texas is like. This is the non-guns version though, which is the only thing that's unrealistic. Okay, voice meter. Hardware out. Speakers to USB sound device. Let's swap that to headphones, Xbox controller. What does it sound like shit? Wow, this sounds like shit. Let me do a doom test. Probably sounds fine for you guys, but it's not sounding good for me. Oh yeah, that's awful. Headphones, Xbox controller. Why does that come out so badly on my end? Oh, that one's better. MME. Alright. Let's do an audio of voice test. Quick match. Both. Part of the family, man. Skip, skip. I want to find a lobby where people have voice chat so I can confirm if we fix the problem. There we go. Just pop in achievements. 
That's remembering all my achievements from the Xbox and it's giving them to me randomly on Windows immediately upon loading up. That's awkward. But convenient. So you only have to play this game on either Xbox or Windows and then just load it up on the other one and when it loads your save file you just get all the same achievements a second time immediately. Texas said he's going to lend me some of his guns, Tenor. And then maybe we can actually save a victim for a change. Sunny again. Ew. Remember that Halloween movie? One of the recent ones where this chick tried to use a gun on um, on Michael Myers and she shot herself in the head by accident. That's why we don't have guns. Yeah, it happens in Tucker and Dale as well. In fact, um, a lot of the same stuff happens in Tucker and Dale. That pretty much happens over and over again. A dude runs into a, a tree branch and impales himself. Leatherface can carry victims to gallows for a special execu execution. That's cool. If you can get there, I guess. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. So they're becoming hard to test. Where are the chatty people? We're not going to know for sure unless we find the chatty people. Tucker and Dale is one of the best horror parodies. By far. It's 
so funny that Cook is just like a piece of chair leg. What a weirdo. Oh look, it's Sunny. Guess who dies first? I'm coming for you, Sunny. I'm gonna get that boy. I thought he left for a second. It was car. Someone else ran off. Pretty much every lobby I've ever been in, someone's always um, fixed Leatherface as quick as possible. Seems to be popular. Yeah, I just switched from the Xbox to PC to see if I can fix the um, the chat problems. Because uh, while we were playing on Xbox, we realized that um, uh, the in-game chat from the other players wasn't coming through on the stream. Like, I could hear it on the headphones, but... Um, then I couldn't hear anyone else talking on stream. And the Xbox settings seem to be set to uh, put audio out both to headphones and speaker. So that was set correctly, but I don't know what was going wrong. PC tends to have more uh, settings to play with. So I figured I could troubleshoot it more on the PC version. Do you like my Halloween headphones? This continues in Muerto County for a missing University of Texas student. The Sheriff's Department says Maria Flores, a native of Uvalde, was last seen... More dead armadillos. Are there a lot, are there a lot of dead armadillos in um, Texas? Because I keep seeing them a lot in this. Bye, cute Hispanic girl. Yikes. I look like a disgruntled postal worker. Here comes Cook. Add padlock. Cool. So I can listen with him. Damn kids. Where'd they go? Something's going on down here. Leatherface is making an awful racket. That makes it hard to use my hearing ability. Hey, Grandpa. Why does it seem to be darker on PC? Every time you and Johnny come around here, there's trouble right behind. My God, you better clean this up. Shut up, chicken. Grandpa? How do we get down the basement? Grandpa's hungry again. Ow. Oh! Holy shit, that scared me. Why am I still getting scared even though I'm a serial killer? Gotta stop doing that. Someone's down there. 
Hello? <gasps> Did I see someone? I see. I'm not a violent man. Oh, you this little bastard. I gotta do. I'll make it snappy, I promise. Y'all running from Cook? I'll find you. you know I'll find you. Leave. Get some blood. Gross. Let's add the padlock. Cool. See how effective that is. Yo. Someone just belted Grandpa over the back of the head. Oh, hi. Bad. Oh, in the tip. <laughs> that was... The oh, okay. That's... A little sus. Oh, her midriff is wobbly and made a jello. Oh, she's gone. That was kind of lucky. She must have run away from Leatherface upstairs and threw herself down the well to escape and just happened to land right in front of me. That's like the unfortunate shit that happens in actual horror movies like this. You think you've just gotten out of trouble and you've just got into more trouble. Out of the frying pan into the fire. Somebody else was down here though. There was a male character down here. The one I saw run to the door that I padlocked. Someone's this way. You can't, um, you can't crouch as Cook. He's probably got them old man knees. These kicks suck. Someone got away. Hunt down the final victim. I can't think straight with all this craziness going on. Is that Sissy? It's Sissy. You have the nine band armadillo, the one that carries leprosy? What the hell? So armadillos can actually be dangerous to humans? He's not too old to climb a ladder, thankfully. Did not know there was an entrance to the basement up here.
the fam is over there. Baby fuzzy armadillo. I'll look it up later. That sounds amazing. Take this now. It'll perk you right up. Let me just feed my grandpa some victim blood. The usual. Can't latch it from this side? Lame. There they are. Shit, how do I get out? The chicken's losing its mind. Murder's about to happen, chicken. Here comes Cook. I'm gonna find your children. I'm gonna poke you with my poker stick. What's he doing? Oh. Holy shit. Where did that man go? He was right there doing something. There he is. Just so we can't get back. Smash is closed. Closing in. These guys are running out of places to go. Oh, he's getting drilled. Someone's getting chainsawed. Oh, that was a massacre. Look at that. <laughs> Good job, Leatherface. Reach family bond to maximum and keep it there for the whole match. I don't know what that means. What the hell is family bond? I've officially killed somebody with every uh, family member except for Leatherface. Cook was kind of weird. I sort of stabbed that lady in the tits with a chair leg. Why was that his choice? Oh. Damn. Try victims again. We've got to get at least one escape. I came close that one time, or at least I think I did. I wasn't actually sure what I was doing, but I was outside, and I do feel like I was near an exit. I just couldn't quite get to it.
Sunny, really? We just start the match like this, just us versus Leatherface. Ah, oh, too late. All right. Good luck. May the best the annoying child win. Flores, a native of Uvalde, was last seen near the town of Newt. Her vehicle was recently discovered abandoned, with officials reporting no signs of foul play. Authorities are hopeful that the expanded search into the nearby communities of Marlow and Chinatown will unearth new leads. Family and friends are urging anyone with information regarding her disappearance to please come forward. A series of home invasions throughout Bell County have turned into this is a long load. Omar Pauly, native of Holland, Texas, was arrested in 1967 for aggravated assault and larceny and was sentenced to five years in prison. After his release, Omar Pauly was implicated in a string of incidents outside McLennan County where he was arrested again but managed to escape authorities. His current whereabouts are unknown. The search continues in Muerto County for a missing University of Texas student. The Sheriff's Department says Leyland is hanging upside down next to me. Wow, he's making so much noise escaping. He better not have got me killed. I don't know, girl. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Okay, that sounded close. Are you referencing her saying, oh god, oh god, Tenor? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, we've got a bone scrap. Nice. How do you get an unlock tool? Oh god. Oh, it's just Leyland. <laughs> Who has a massive chainsaw wound on his back, so maybe I shouldn't be following Leyland. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You do that. How long does it take to unlock that? I'll keep an eye out. Nice. My man. Free BJs when we get out of here.
Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh fuck. What's this? This looks important. Okay, that seems important. Oh my god. I don't much enjoy being violent, but I got no choice here. Eh. That's locked. It's Grandpa. I should have bashed him on the way past. <laughs> I'm okay, Texas. This is horrifying. What do I do? Okay, he's now run past twice. Whoa, why'd I burst out? Okay, just chill. Someone just died. Chill. Someone escaped inside a basement. This nursing home seems kind of sus. It's the sussest. What's that do? I don't know what this fuse does either. I wish I knew how to actually escape this place. I have a valve and a fuse. I can hear the big boy. We never should have come here. I agree. That was your first mistake. I gotta admit, I have zero clue of how to escape this. Maybe she does. I have a valve and a, and a fuse, but I don't know what to do with them. That sucks. That really sucks. Another fuse? Can I have both? Oh, no! Oh, come on, man. What do you do, though? Like, I find things like valves and fuses, but I don't really know what I'm supposed to do with them. And there's no on-screen indicator to tell you what to do with them, either. Maybe Anna knows, because I sure as fuck don't. I have seen people uh, escape by running down the street, if you get out the front, to where the highway is, but I don't know how to get there either. On a previous map, I found a gate that goes there, but it takes like 10 minutes to unlock it. She has massive wounds on her back.
Can she get the valve and the fuse off my corpse? Did they really leave? I don't know if Sissy just saw her or not. I don't think she did. Yeah, she bugged off. I did find a gate that was a exit that required a valve, but oh, God. Help the pain. how are you supposed to find these things? You're supposed to wander around until you figure it out, or is there something in the UI that tells you, but I'm just not noticing? She should probably use that health, like, ASAP. Hi, Jeannie. What am I wearing? Um, Halloween outfit. I'm theme- I'm thematic. Grandpa's at maximum is my favorite pop-up in the whole game. It's so funny. She's dead. She has massive lacerations on her back. Yeah, the, the headphones are um, my Halloween headphones. Whoa. How are you alive? <laughs> oh. She is so lucky. Nah, she's fucked. That's not a good time to do that. I just realized the person who died's name is Bait Kush. A pink kitty? Yeah, that's my Halloween outfit. Look! We got a chainsaw massacre kill. Yay! <laughs> Always fun to watch. That's everybody. I can't escape, Genie. I can get plenty of kills when I'm a serial killer. I've actually, um... I've killed teenagers with every single, um... Killer that you can pick, except for Leatherface, which is always taken. No one ever lets you play Leatherface. But, um... I can't seem to even escape once. I've never survived. No, you're never gonna survive unless... No, 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 no. What's happening? Did I break it? Alright, there we go. She's using an electric chainsaw. <laughs> Leatherface? The man wearing someone's face is on his face? Needs to care about the environment? Oh, also, you'll be proud of me, Genie. I was playing as Sissy, the only female serial killer. And out of all the victims, there was only one male victim. And I stalked the motherfucker. I, I was a manslayer. Oh, we get to try Leatherface. <clears throat> I've never got to play his other face before. That's exciting. What do you mean you've never played Leatherface before? Heaps of people don't want to play Leatherface. Well, I've never been... I've never got a chance to even try it. <laughs> Everyone always takes oh, it. Oh, well, I'm glad you're getting the chance now. He's a fun, fun dude to play. I'm probably going to hate it. After all this time of never getting to try this character, it's going to... It's going to be disappointing. He's got solid endurance. So it's pretty good when, if you're someone who likes to chase. I like to chase when I'm sissy and when my victim is Leland. First time for everything. Because I like to be a man killer when I'm sissy. I like to go after the peens. Make my necklace. <laughs> Uh, 
It doesn't really Is work when you're leather face. I don't really have a main, I've just been bouncing around. Bouncing is good, bro. Bouncing is good. Except for when you're sissy, because you know what this family's like. It's probably going to be on Johnny, yeah, and that's just weird. Somebody has to catch them. What, the Texas Chainsaw family? Yeah, I was just quoting my character. I had a great idea, though, for a movie. Texas Chainsaw Massacre versus Devil's Rejects. That family versus this family. I'm not familiar with the second one. It's essentially the same kind of thing, except that's a Rob Zombie movie, but it's a family of serial killers, and they're all weird just like this. They're very similar. Texas, <laughs> did you say Pleatherface? Oh, that's like the discount wish.com Leatherface. <laughs> Pleatherface. <laughs> Are you ready, my guy? Oh, fuck. Yeah. Sorry. I have lollies and it, they distract me. Authorities were alerted to Hellum's ranch what? yesterday to investigate reports of cattle abuse. It's like two years long. But what they found instead was disturbing. The ranch was devoid of life. Who's the disembodied voice with you? I don't know. Randoms in the chat. In the, the lobby. My fellow serial killers. Sissy, stop. You're going to give Grandpa a blood disease. Oh, Leyland dies at the start in the cutscene. I'm glad it hit. Hit. Concerned noises. That's me. I'm a big I'm a big boof head. Who's in the who's in the fridge? Nobody. I come, children. I'm locking up the parking lot, y'all. I am aggressively grunting and bumping into things. Oh, hello. I... Okay. What the... What the... What? Okay, great. I did not know I had to start my chainsaw up laboriously. There goes my victim. Be careful as well, you can overcharge your chainsaw and make it fall. Thrust? Shove my chainsaw through gaps in the wall. That's cool. Yeah, you can. I've tried to slash people through those gaps as the other characters and was very disappointed. Good job, Leatherface. You're not useless. Any holes, go. Okay, wait. I'm lost again. I'm lost in my own fucking house. In my defense, Leatherface has the brain of a five-year-old, so anything I do that's stupid is on him. That's fair. Cool. 
Sonny's just dumped down the well from the courtyard next to the uh, water pressure valve open. When they throw themselves down the well, that means they land in the tunnels, yeah? In the base. Because I'm in the tunnels somewhere. I see a naughty little bitch. Naughty little bitch running away from me. Where'd you go? Oh. Well, there's a cheeky boy down here somewhere. What was that? Oh, shit. Alright, kid. I found the black kid. I I mean he was here. Connie's just come down the basement again. For a well. Damn, if I found him in there that would be great. Oh, when you rev it all the way up, he speeds up. Basement's open. Someone just closed this door in the basement? The pressure gate? Maybe you close the pressure gate, my dude. Yeah, the green light just turned red and the door closed. There's someone, someone must have fixed it. Hide in the bushes. Grandpa's in danger. Not actually in danger from the victims, it's just osteoporosis. Just normal aging issues. He'll be fine. I see a redhead. Someone immobilized our grandpa. That's rude. 
disrespectful. Who's pawn? Mm -hmm. Sonny got out of the The redhead with the bum is down here with me somewhere. Sore. Briefly. God damn it. Yeah, that should be a way to heal and revive Grandpa, just get him his applesauce. That's a good idea. Send that note to the devs, Texas. Quite challenging to catch people as um, Leatherface. You gotta be lucky. Yeah, I'd hope they're blind and run directly into my chainsaw gut first. They sure love beating on Grandpa. So clearly they have no honor or dignity. Whale on the elderly. Oh. This basement door just opened again. Yeah, I arrived. someone just used the fuse. Is that fuse used actually down here in the basement to open the basement door? No, but the pressure one is. So they have to do the fuse thing somewhere up up there and then come back down? Yeah, the fuse, the fuse is somewhere up here and then the pressure valve is down there. So yeah, they have to travel up, get a thing, come back. Or travel down, get a thing and come back up. Oh, okay, it's closed again. Price is over. People flying up there. Okay. They're a sneaky bunch. Hmm. 
pressure downstairs, dude. Use your, like, mouse button to check where it is. I need you to, like, close it. Pressure. It's a big gas tank. It's spraying steam. I need you to turn it off. Hold up. Dead end. Wait, I can use steam. Ah, yep. Found it. Repressurizing in progress. Leatherface do good. I'm surprised he can follow even the simplest instructions. Oh. Oh, that's one of y'all. That's me, dude. Yeah. <laughs> you scared the shit out of me. That's why I'm a good serial killer. I jump at every shadow. It's an anxiety thing. Leatherface needs therapy. I mean, they all need therapy, obviously, for many reasons. Hi. Keep an eye on the pressure gate and this gate. Out of every single match of this I've ever played, these survivors are actual ninjas. Actually, no, never mind. I saw the. I got a redhead. I can't climb ladders, can I? Well, she's you can't climbed. Fit, dude. She's climbed back up the ladder. Want to challenge into a breakdancing contest, Texas? Emotional support chainsaw and medicinal human skin face covering. <laughs> that sounds like a lefty. That sounds like a lefty leather face. Sounds like there's action down here. Oh my god. That was embarrassing. Ow. Stop! Why am I animating? I almost massacred someone and I copped a door to the nose. <laughs> yeah, those fuckers do that. Cheeky. Good thing I was wearing this leather face. Take the blow. Oh, it's you. Running with that switchblade like you want to shave somebody. Wait, is that somebody? There's a Hispanic girl over here crouching around. That seems suspicious. Yeah, that one. Mm. 
Someone just beat the shit out of Grandpa again. I can't, I can't even get up there. We can leave Grandpa. We don't have anything in him, so there's no point. But there's a survivor up there. Oh, she just came down. Oh, I got stabbed in the thigh. It slightly inconvenienced me. I feel like we're being mocked. It is time. So much for your holes. Just check in the trunk. Nick hung. It is kind of hilarious that a female character escaped called Nick Hung. Just a tad. <laughs> What's this do? Turn off. So you just closed the basement door. Is that a good or a bad thing? So well done. Oh, good. That's a good thing. It is a good thing. Leatherface runs like he shat himself. I gotta change these jeans in between matches. Everyone else in the basement right now? Are you guys both down there? I'm down here. Sissy's upstairs with you. <laughs> Gentle. Again. Thought I saw someone sneak. Oh, it's on cooldown. I think that cooldown was two seconds too late. That's it. No, that's alright. They didn't get out that way. I'm down here. Oh. Well, God. GG.
Man, watching him do that makes me dizzy. I don't like that at all. Escape from valve exit parking lot loading dock. All of the above. Oh, three of them were in a group chat. I think we got a team here. That'd be why they escaped us so well. Fucking communication. I've never escaped as a victim. Makes me really sad. Neither have I. But I've killed. I've killed with every single other killer except for Leatherface. Well, that was a depressing, depressing match. I don't think anything's gone that badly as a killer, ever. Okay. Let's try and survive again. Freebird playing in the background while he's spinning around. That would fit really well. The funny thing is, is Leatherface spins in circles and celebrates with his chainsaw no matter whether he wins or loses. He's just, li he's just living his best life, man. These aren't the most comfortable headphones in the world, I gotta admit. I think the, um, the pads are too small. That they press against your lobes. I think maybe the reason why it felt so difficult to play as Leatherface as a killer, whereas it was a lot easier as the others. I mean, generally speaking, it is kind of hard to see the survivors as a killer. They only pop up every once in a while, but I think Leatherface is worse because your chainsaw is always giving you away, so people are able to avoid you more. So spend like the entire match not ever seeing anybody. I know you can turn it off, but, like, why would you? Why would you turn off a chainsaw if you have a chainsaw? That's illegal. Anna. Alright, let's go the token cis white boy. Maybe there's a chance I can survive for the first time ever if I activate my white privilege. Yeah, that too. <laughs> I like your song. What? Your song is good. Keep going. It's keeping Leyland direct. I'm a real nigga from the projects. That, that coming out of Julie is hilarious. I thought that was Sunny for a second. It's actually Julie. Julie's cancelled. Julie? I, I, I'm, I fucked her in real life. Bro. Julie? Uh, the real bitch. Bro. You do realize that Texas Chainsaw Massacre is really old, like 70s, so those actresses would be like 80. I just fucked a granny. It wasn't even the same Austin. If we were to take money right now on who's gonna die first of the survivors, I'm gonna put it on Julie. <laughs> Julie ain't long for this world. Oh, that's a lot of guts. Come on. A bit more. Take it easy. You can do this, Leyland. Use your white privilege. Oh, God. 
Ow. I landed in the pancreas. Hey, is my, is my mic making noise? Nope. It ain't. No, it sounds All fine. Right. Gracias, thank you. Thankfully, the murderers can't seem to hear the victim's chat, and we can't hear theirs. What am I trying to achieve here? What's this? Unlock tool. Alright. Oh, that's very close. Holy shit, someone already escaped. Two people already escaped. Oh my god. I can't go in there? Alright. Please lead somewhere. Good. Dude. What? What? <laughs> Making go uncomfortable, Texas. Someone disconnected. Oh, I'm. I found Leatherface's lair. There's uh, a lady corpse. Someone just got murdered. It was not Julie. I lost the bet. Oh shit. Is that Leatherface? Oh shit. <laughs> well, I hate this game. Why can't I ever find a single person when I'm playing as Leatherface, or even get a single kill? But when I'm a victim, I die in 15 to 25 seconds. Hey look, Julie's alive. Let's watch Julie and see what happens to Julie. Dying is escaping from this mortal coil. So, I guess I've found peace, which is some kind of victory. If you really want to stretch it. I wonder what Julie's going to do. Uh-oh. Get hit on the back of the head with a stick, that's what. She got bumped. I don't know, you could... wrestle. Oh, now she's losing this fight. <laughs> oh, wait, no. She got in a cock punch. Kind of bleeding out though. I got a kill with um, that old man with the stick once where he's basically stabbed her in the tit with that stick. Whoa. Julie got perforated. Well, we're all dead. See? Always does this. We've got to be able to survive one of these. We can't go a whole night of Texas Chainsaw Massacre and not live. Not live once. From the sounds of it, from what that 
uh, the girl was saying in the previous match, though. Um, if you get a valve from downstairs, you can take it upstairs, turn on the steam thing, and then come back downstairs to escape through the cellar? Or something like that? I get to be Connie. I get to be the, the Daisy Duke. Happy day. You're gonna like Connie, Texas. She's got cheeks for days. In those tiny jeans. Looks like she gets stuck in dryers. Help from Stepro. Sonny has fallen asleep at the wheel. He's the only one we're waiting on. Connie looks like she might be able to seduce Johnny. If Johnny comes swinging that shiv at me, I'm just going to put a leg out. Oh. I don't think that seduction is going to work on Leatherface. He's got a child brain. Actually, it might work even better on Cook, because he's a creepy old man. I think Sunny might be AFK. You can never skip these. I think it's hiding more loading. Oh my god. This is every farm in Texas. What, with teenagers hanging in the basement? Be quiet. Nice. Connie's out. Look at that bum. Oh my god. Oh my god. What are they doing to me? So she has a special lock picking ability, which might actually be really useful. Never mind. The Hispanic girl's going for it. I'll just watch her rear. Close range. That's a good rear. Uh oh. It's fine. Someone else getting murdered. How do I get this open? Girl. We gotta move. Oh shit. Okay. Well. Fuck that. Can I? Okay.
That's not good. Um, be bone scrap. That'll give me a little shiv. That'll help. What actually happened? Did my friend get got? She got through! She must have unlocked the door at the last second before he came up behind her with that chainsaw. Lucky. What a heroic escape. Now what? Oh shit. Oh, too loud. Just keep moving, Connie. Don't talk to yourself. I wish I didn't lose my friend because I think she knew exactly what she was doing. Oh, that goes back in the basement. No. What's this? Hide? Someone's fighting a serial killer downstairs. Good job. Is that my girl? What's that? There she is. What was that? Tree bone scrap. Already got one. Health. Can you... Sunny executed. Uh oh. We lost the black kid. I have to find the others. We don't need the others. We need to under we need to figure out how to escape this fucking game. Let's go back in the basement? Oh my god. I think Leatherface is underground. Uh oh. Dude. What are mine is upstairs? Oh, that was lucky. That guy's blind. Thank you, God. I think I lost him. I'm a little stressed. Good, don't it? People keep disconnecting. I need them to teach me how to get out of here. survive for five minutes. Yeah, but for like what purpose? I don't know what I'm doing. Still won't open. Holy shit. What was that? Whoa. Wait. That's a good thing. That means someone activated a pressure valve in the basement, right? Does that mean this gate can now open?
Overload pressure valve to open. Oh shit! Oh my god. Please, end his life. Well, what's the point of fighting back if I can't win? Don't tell me that I was seconds away from that opening. Okay, so she found a valve somewhere, brought it back to the basement, turned it on that machine, and then that thing upstairs started overheating. And I think when it hits the red, when the needle goes all the way around, I think that gate opens. Which means if I'd not been stabbed to death just then, I would have been able to escape immediately. I wish this game did a better job of teaching you the mechanics of escaping. Like, what the thing? What am I getting? Where am I taking it? Oh, you're fucked. Oh no, she got. Wow. Once you through the gate, they can't stop you. I'm actually shocked she survived because she was with me at the very start, unlocking that door and only barely surviving that. She almost got chainsawed to the back. Just unlocking that one door. <laughs> and she's the only one that got out. I didn't get to use my uh, special ability as Connie. I never got to use her instant lockpick. I didn't realize that you actually needed to find a lockpick just like everyone else does first. To use her, like, insta pick. Oh my god. So it's either guy that can shoulder barge or. Ultimate escape, which reduces stamina drain. Okay, fine. I'll give white privilege another go. <sighs> he looks like the drummer for the monkeys. I'm kind of mad at Cook right now. He's the guy that killed me on the last match. I've got my eye on Cook. I reckon in real life, Leyland could take Cook. In a one-on-one. -on -one. I reckon Julie could take Cook in a one-on-one. -on -one. <laughs> Probably Anna as well. Not Connie. Here we go. Attempt number 17. Farming communities of Central Texas as two more were reported just last evening. The cows were discovered with the throat slit and cut from belly to hip. Officials believe multiple perpetrators are responsible and the mutilations appear to have been committed at the same time. The Sheriff's Department advises all ranchers to control their property. 
Why do I always start upside down? Just, I'm still trying. I'm getting there. There we go. Ow. Took him a while. Is that a hand? Gotta focus. Oh, gross. Gotta stay strong. My hair almost landed in that. My beautiful Pantene Pro Olive Aloe Vera Extract Pro V. Sounds like a chainsaw. This looks promising. Ooh. Yes. Where is everybody? Oh, this is awful. I wonder where they are. Oh shit. Something Got it. Useful. Can we close this door? Yeah, it's better. These are bones. Yeah. Who are these people? Yikes. Chill. Oh my god. Grandpa's awake. <laughs> Why is this so difficult to open? Take some of this. Can I use this. Yep, can. That'll make a nice little shiv. Okay, that's good. I'm shocked the noise maker doesn't make a noise when it falls. I love how everyone's out of the basement but me at this point. <laughs> I'm so lost. This is the room I started in. Oh fuck. Oh my god, you scared the crap out of me. Oh my god, I'm getting this freezer and I'm not coming out ever. <laughs> I think he's after Anna. Oh my god. Did you just 
just walk right past again. Holy fuck. There's so many things going on on screen, I don't know what's happening. Going quiet again. Fucking chicken. Love. How do you get out of the... I don't know how to get out of the, the fucking dungeon. Oh god, Connie. You gave me a heart attack. Oh. Connie knows what she's doing. I hope. Maybe not. Con? Connie? Oh. I'm alone again. <gasps> Where? Oh my god. There's a leather face coming down the ladder. Oh, good. Okay, every man for himself, I get it. Well, back in the freezer. Cool. Someone did something. A pressure valve or whatever was activated, so there's an exit that's open. Somewhere. Oh. Oh. Why would you just throw yourself out? That is what I've been saying. Think. No! He could pull you down? I was not aware of that. Oh my god. Oh, there's somebody. Oh, shit. Are we out? Do we just fucking bail at this point? Oh, fuck. Oh, that sucks. Just don't leave me, Anna. <laughs> oh, he's coming. Th 
Which way? Okay, just pick an armadillo. Oh, well. I can make it. Off I go. I have to. How do people like this happen? Where's... How come... Anna was right behind me. Where's she gone? Oh, sorry. Julie. Is Julie being, like... Benevolent and waiting for... Connie? What is Connie doing? I think she's maximizing match points. I think the longer you survive in the map before you escape, the more experience points you get. So she's milking it right now. I'm just happy to be out of there, man. Like, fuck the XP. I ain't risking my life for no XP. Oh! Whoa. Well, Connie's fucked. It's just you, Julie. Good luck. They've re-electrified the floor there, though. So even if they wanted to come stop Julie, they can't. Like, won't they electrocute themselves if they try to get to her? Well, I'm going to have a Twix and watch Julie grind XP on these fools. Surely they got to have figured it out by now. She's like, pumping something? Julie, stop it. That is not ladylike. That is not becoming. actually humping her own thigh. Wow, she... Is really milking this. They haven't figured out that she's at the exit. They must be going mad over there. <laughs> Slowly creeping away. Once they get Grandpa to level 4 though, you can't actually hide. They can see you from anywhere, so they'll do that at a large diff ditch effort and they'll see where she is. And that'll be the end of it. <laughs> She's in so much pain. <laughs> Help me. Actually, her health isn't that bad at all. She just looks a lot worse. For that tiny chunk that's missing. Oh, they've turned off the electricity again. Oh, here it comes. You should you should probably fuck off. <laughs> Where is he going? Wow, Leatherface. I think he thought she was going to escape and there was no point in chasing. Now he's confused. <laughs> She's just taunting him at this point. This is a best case scenario, I think, for, the, for whoever's playing as Julie right now. Like, the other team is so completely failed to catch on to what 
she's doing here. Leatherface almost had it. And he turned around and went home. <laughs> What's happening? Like, they're going to see this yellow outline from a distance and they're going to come all the way back here surely and be like, wow, she didn't leave. We've been wasting our time. And now she's gone. I think you kind of do have to escape though before the entire other team disconnects from frustration. Otherwise, you probably don't get the same payout. Stop it, dude. West Road, East Road, killed by Johnny, rear exit. Cool. At least we managed to pull an escape. Let's see if I can get a, another go at Leatherface. I do want to actually get a Leatherface kill. That Leatherface game that I played was like the worst match of all time though, so. Ah, oh, whoops. Da 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 da. Ba ba da ba. Da 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 ba da ba ba da ba ba da ba. Pretty tricky to get the letter face roll. I've only ever done it once. You have to be pretty lucky. Like first into a lobby. I don't really care, it's just I've experienced everything else at this point. There we go. Family House of Dawn. My leather face is getting a bit old and decrepit. I need a new face. I think Connie's will do. Connie. I'm going to borrow your face, Connie. Leland's losing his mind. I love how we're all playing musical chairs with the ready button. Bro, let me let her face.
All right. The search continues in Muerto County for a missing University of Texas student. The sheriff's department. Time for slaughter and some face thievery. It's always sunny, man. I don't think I've seen anyone do this cutscene more times than Sunny. Alright. So goddamn confusing. I hate it. Uh-oh. Help us, Grandpa. Hmm. Imagine if I actually just caught someone in here. This girl. Oh my god. There's fucking teenagers everywhere. I am so confused. What the fuck? Oh. Oh shit. Okay, well, I'll take it. I'll just fall down the well. Nice. Well, I chainsawed a lady through the stomach. 
I fulfilled my goals. I'm a happy camper. Oh, someone's up there. Someone's near Grandpa. If you can actually get a chainsaw swing on someone at close range, it seems like a pretty quick kill. Easier said than done. Oh. Can I... If I stop the chainsaw, can I climb this? I actually can't. Wow. Leatherface, this is sad. Alright, let's get back to it. Final victim? Oh. We're doing well. The boys upstairs must be uh, putting in some work. Hey, I got my victim. How do I get out of here? I don't know how I got in here. Ah. Oh. No. Where is that sound coming from? I heard a girl wincing in pain. Oh. Oh, that's that's on my boys. I'll take care of it. There you go. Have fun. To kill some children. Oh, there she is. Where did she go? Ah. Oh, he's got her. Oh, he's, he's beating her. Get their fucking head in. Alright. <laughs> cool. Oh, she's being murdered. She's being absolutely murdered. Yep, she gone. I never even got to see daylight. He just came out from downstairs for the first time ever. Leatherface seems mad happy. My first chainsaw kill. Cool. Pretty stoked about that. I don't really have anything left to achieve in terms of what I wanted to experience tonight with this game. I got a murder with every single of... Every single one of the five serial killers, including Leatherface. We've managed to actually escape as a survivor, which was the hardest thing out of everything to do. Can't think of anything else. Nobody is leveled up. Customization? Little face. Do I have points to spend? I do not. Skill tree. Oh, I do.
Increases chicken detection radius. Hell yeah. Savagery increased by three. I don't know what savagery does. Instantly bursts through latch door three times. Blood collected from buckets is increased by 20%. Grandpa's sonar, family members gain 50 stamina. That's pretty cool. Regenerate stamina 10 times faster than when revving a chainsaw. So. Okay. Cosmetics. Pretty woman. Leatherface used 10 times. Old lady. <laughs> Alright. Weapons. Just different got the chainsaws. Doesn't really matter. Now what? Oh, I have attributes I can... Oh my god. Savagery. Melee attack damage. Endurance. I think endurance is mad important. Yeah, that's crazy important. I'm gonna just do endurance. Execution. The gut. Oh, I think I was killed like this by him one time. He just like pushes their face down to the chainsaw. It's pretty cool. I think none of this really matters, though. Should I do one more for the road? I was going to go out on um, Leatherface actually getting a chainsaw kill, but... Let's just be a victim one last time. We've only ever escaped once. Let's take one more shot at it. Just for fun. Who do I escape as? White privilege. We escaped as white privilege with the monkey's hairdo. I'll pick someone else. I'll see if I can actually do an escape objective. Because I seem to just sort of follow other people around and then escape via the things they unlock. There was that one match when I found both the valve and the fuse and just never found the thing I'm supposed to use them on. And then other matches, I found the exits, but I never found any fuses or valves. <laughs> so either one or the other. I do think a lot of that stuff is randomized, though. Okay, fine. I'll be Julie. I do like her top. Very orange, very mom jeans. Good luck. University of Texas student, the Sheriff's Department says Maria Flores, a native of Uvalde, was last seen near the town of Newt. The vehicle was recently discovered abandoned, with officials reporting no signs of foul play. So 
authorities are hopeful that the expanded search to the nearby casinos in Harlow and Chinatown will unearth the thief. Why is someone already getting chainsawed to death? What the fuck? Wow, this match is kicking off very fast. Come on. God, that took ages. A knife. Wait. Damn it. No, it's not. Where is that coming from? Okay. Oh god, someone just got wrecked. That sounded bad. Yep. What the fuck? Internet ping time too large to play. Network error. I got Australia'd. I can't believe it. I finally got Australia. I knew it was going to happen at some point. Oh my god. Is that is that the end of the night? It's Texas Chainsaw finally not going to let us play anymore. Where we come far enough. Come on. This tool. Nope. I don't want to be him. I want to be pretty. What? What? You can change. Yeah, I'm pretty now. I'm gorgeous. Why does she stand like that? Like an orangutan? What? <laughs> Anna's got that orangutan stance. Which rose do you want? Oh, wait, I think we're too late. The search continues in Muerto County for a missing University of Texas student. The Sheriff's Department says Maria Flores, a native of Valde, was last seen near the town of Newt. The vehicle was recently discovered abandoned. Maria is going to die. Oh, 
Okay, fine. If everyone else is going to get out noisily, then I will too. Shiv. Man, Sonny is really booking it. I think Sonny knows what he's doing. This. Yeah. What was that? I think that was Sunny. I don't think Sunny's having a good time. There's gotta be something I can use around here. Oh, sure is. It's I my photo. Uh-oh. Quickly. Good girl. Oh, no. Oh, no! I'm gonna book it. Oh, that didn't work out. Is every single killer down here right now? I got beat over the head, stabbed with a shiv and chainsword. I got literally assaulted by everybody. <laughs> she just shot a Sonya blader and got shoulder barged. That was that was adorable. Sissy's gonna be mad. Damn, Leland. He's moving. Oh, is that where one of the things are? So maybe that's where you put the fuses? Did someone just get... Oh, I try to... Swapped to Connie and she died immediately. I didn't even get to see what happened. This man is not long for this world. I think he just gave himself away hard. He's working. I should not make some noise. Oh, he's fucked. He just got razor bladed twice, but oh, there's a half a person hanging from that railing. Really. I still love that moment. <laughs> the moment where she tried to Sonya poison kiss one of the survivors and this dude just fucking flattened her. That was tasty. Lucky. I don't know what he thinks he's gonna do now. He has so much to still still do oh, before he can escape. Uh, my English is not good. <laughs> it's alright. I don't know what the heart symbol means. Sometimes it's full, sometimes it's sketched out like it is now on here. Can you speak slowly? Oh. How does that feel? <laughs> I 
<laughs> I'm impressed. He's surviving. Oh no. Worst possible thing that could have happened. Hey, he opened the door for Johnny. <laughs> Whoa. They're not gone. I can hear the... I can hear Sissy singing. It's really creepy. I don't know what he's going to do. Fuse. Actually, he does have a chance. If he gets that to that fuse box he found earlier. I'm going to be very impressed if Leland escapes this. Did he just drop his lockpick for that health item? I don't need a lockpick anymore. Grandpa's at maximum. Run, dude. I don't know if he needed that. Uh oh. Oh, he's fucked. It's just so stressful. Oh, good lord. Dude, you have no health left to fall. You're gonna actually die on impact. That actually would be funny if that if that works. If he dies hitting the ground. Oh no. Unlucky. Deja vu though. This is exactly how I killed someone when I was. When I was playing as Leatherface, they just fell through the well and I happened to be there. <sighs> My man came close. It's action packed. Wow. <laughs> I have a better idea now of what you're looking for, though, from watching other people try to survive like that. The valve is ripped off the wall from random pipes that you find it attached to randomly. I use the word random too many times. I guess I'm sexy Anna again. Fine. Game plan. Don't get distracted by sexy Anna. Despite the fact that I have to stare at her the entire time. For a missing University of Texas student, the Sheriff's Department says Maria Flores, a native of Uvalde, was last seen near the town of Newt. Her vehicle was recently discovered abandoned, with officials reporting no signs of foul play. Authorities are hopeful that the expanded search to the nearby community of Harlow and Tonic.
We're gonna watch Sunny Day again. <laughs> oh man. That poor kid. Takes too long. They know where we are anyway. Oh my god, Connie! Oh, they're baking a nice pig on this barbecue. Looks delicious. I'm gonna latch this closed. There we go. Door latched. Now you can't Texas Chainsaw Massacre me. Oh wow. Well that's rude. Asshole. Oh! Wow. What is he doing? <laughs> On the plus side, if I just keep doing this, it'll keep them busy so all my friends can escape. I'm a good person. Ah, oh, come on. Nope, stop. Where did, uh, Texas Chainsaw Leatherface fucker go? He was right on my ass for a while there. Just straight up gave up. I have no way to escape. Need a lockpick or something. Shit. I hope my friends are doing fine. Why have I got two stabby implements? That's an accident. Didn't mean for that. I think I just heard Connie grunting. There's gotta be something I can use around here. Well. That might have been the end of Connie. Is that? Wait, this is one. Yes. That's what we need. Crap. Yep. Crap. Yep. Nice. Okay, Anna. Stay calm. You can use this. Locks, maybe. I'm covered in so much blood. Is that a door? Yes. I heard one of my friends.
It's absurd how long this takes. It's all <laughs> I was almost out. I was almost out of here. Why are they doing this to us? Is that my friend? Oh my god. That's one of us. I'll follow her. I'm coming, babe. There she is. We shouldn't split up, because that's usually how people get fucked up in horror movies. I'll end the chicken. I feel bad, but we must live. Where'd she go? Connie has left me. Did he see me do that? How do I get oh, my God. oh, there she is. Come on, heal my friend. There you go. I'm a good person. Connie! I know this is not the time, but will you add me to Instagram? <laughs> Wait, hold up. Wow, that was very close. <laughs> Jesus Christ. He actually walked up and touched you. The other face is blind. Red. What is this? Oh, my God. Chill. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Okay, what's the game plan? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, fuck. Grandpa again. I'm in a bad spot for this. Good. I'm just gonna hide in the corner. No. That dude is marauding. Don't, chicken. Use. Oh, fuck. Oh, it's highlighting the fuse box. Okay. So fuse found on a thing goes in that fuse box and that opens a door downstairs in the basement. Somewhere. Somewhere else in the level is a valve on a wall that gets taken downstairs and then it makes that thing steam to open this gate ow oh this is actually a really smart move good job
They definitely got alerted to me tripping that trap. They knew I would sneak down that to get to the fuse box. They knew it. I wonder where Connie went. She must be somewhere doing something important. Oh, shit. Are you kidding? I hate this. Oh my god. She only just escaped that. Oh fuck! It's so bad. Ah! Well, great. I was not aware that the fuse box was going to be a puzzle that you had to solve under duress. That was crazy. I don't even know what that puzzle was. I don't even have any time under pressure to even look at it and consider it. <laughs> I just saw colors and numbers and I was like, fuck this. At this point, I would consider just climbing the barbed wire fence and just taking the damage. I can always go to hospital later and get stitches on my hands and legs. <sighs> I think the thing that really fucked us at the end there was them getting grand grandpa to level max. We are doing a pretty good job of keeping out of sight until grandpa became ultimate and then they could see us from anywhere. That's when they knew we were all in the corner trying to do objectives and everyone showed up at the same spot. I guess it's probably easier to do the valve. The valve seems harder to find but I mean, the valve wouldn't come with a puzzle. It's just more uh, ground to ground to cover in order to use it to escape. That's more the endurance test than the the mental puzzle bullshit. Hmm. Okay. Well, I think I'm happy with that. I've at least got a kill with everybody, and I've also made an escape. I've made an escape at least once. It does seem a lot harder as a victim, but I will admit it is more fun. It can get pretty boring wandering around as a killer, wondering where everybody is. It's only like sudden surges of action of chasing and stabbing somebody, but it's just, it's kind of not enough. And then there was that one Leatherface match where I just didn't see nothing the entire time. <laughs> that was awful. But yeah. I think that alleviates my curiosity about the game, at least. There's nothing really left to experience. It's all just level grinding from there on. Which I guess is the same as all these games. Like, if you're playing Evil Dead or Friday the 13th or um, Death, Dead by Daylight, I mean, that's it in a nutshell. That's just change the graphics around and it's, it's, that's, it's that game. Maybe that's why I've never been that excited about this genre. It really is just one thing. I know there's slight variations in the formula in those other games. Like Ash vs Evil Dead has got some interesting differences and so does Dead by Daylight. Not enough to really spark my curiosity in any kind of meaningful way. If I can really get into it. I can't, um, I don't think I can be one of these gamers that sort of sticks to one of these games or a game like this. Even a game like Overwatch or Valorant and basically just play it on repeat to grind character levels for months and months. It's not really my vibe. I don't really get it. Also, my ears hurt. These headphones 
are not made for comfort. They're made to look like Pink Kitty. They're not made to feel good on your head. And I've discovered that the hard way. I don't even know how it sounds. I don't know what the mic quality is like. Rip to anyone that I played with tonight if it's shit. RIP. I wish I could use this podcast mic I use for my stream for uh, gaming mic audio. But I can't use it for both. So obviously it has to go to OBS for the stream. If I had two, if I had a second one of these, which I I wouldn't because it's expensive, so why would I have two of them? <laughs> Not made of money. Okay, so I've got a day or two of work uh, to deal with. And then I'll be back Friday. I'll be back at least Friday. And I'm going to jump on Headbangers, I think, on Friday. That just came out today. So I want to jump on that fresh, hot. Because that's a um, a Battle Royale rhythm game. 30 players playing music rhythm games all at the same time with uh, dropout rules. So as someone who likes rhythm games and is good at them, I think I might be able to do well at Headbangers. Especially if it's fresh, just came out. The, leader the leaderboards are still clean, untainted. As a chance for me to climb. So that'll be the next one. Soonish. At this point, I'm pretty sure Friday. All right. Happy Halloween. From me, Pink Kachu, as Tenna called me earlier. <laughs> Good night.